Hey, stop looking at my ass elbows and go to the website and hook me up and buy something, motherfucker. Oh, boy, I almost fucked myself up, man. Freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Cause I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> Is Trina there? Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch mouth. Cause I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her, somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give a fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. So get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. I told you he has some shit. <laughs> Happy New Year, Yay! motherfuckers! Happy we New are, Year. yeah, we are the survivors, survivors of the system. God damn it, we we see another year. We hope we see few, uh, uh, a a mm-hmm. whole bunch more. Damn. Yeah, man, uh-huh. yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> I right, go in on my jacket, nigga. <laughs> yeah. This nigga said I had on a uh, the inside of a coffin jacket. Oh. <laughs> oh. Coffin lining. Oh. 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 The diamond puff. Right. <laughs> right, right. That'd be like all these little. What, what'd you say, nigga? Just like me or Zoe would have all this. Zoe said, I mean, uh, 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 Freeze said I could fight with this motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, you take that shit off and run it across a nigga's face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, a cheese grater? Right. Oh, boy, <laughs> you up, nigga. That nigga like Pele and smear your shit. Oh. I say my jacket look like what? Say, look polar like bear. A, what? a polar bear at a at backstage. Wait a minute. Oh, God. No. Koi tic-tac-toe. What? Right, Koi. <laughs> and Black Grace. Blackface. Blackface. Oh, they... Typo. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> what the fuck is that? This sounds and shit. <laughs> I thought it was the stormtroopers. I looked at that nigga's jacket. I was like, stormtroopers? <laughs> no, it's, it's the ghetto stormtroopers. If you put the mic close, it's making noise when you move your arm around. Oh, see? A pillow yeah. top coat. Somebody <laughs> said he had on. No, Yo, just that move. shit is hard. That's not, it oh, looks yeah. soft. That shit is. Is it? You could uh, pelt a motherfucker with that. <laughs> Chi-Town know what this is. <laughs> hey, yo. That's, that's and Pele, Pele's. Motherfuckers be, motherfuckers be fighting in these Pele, Pele's for Man. real. And shit. Look at that. Because I know. Back in the day, the Knights have on shit. Boo-booic fur. That's, yeah, that's <laughs> boo-booic fur. I started to wear my fur on the show just to have uh-huh. niggas going. Oh, Man, God, first of all, I want y'all to motherfucking um, realize I went through a very traumatic experience today. Uh-oh. I picked... Um, I picked Chris up from the airport and shit, and go. this nigga was, you know, it was raining outside. They got the El Nino type oh, right, storm, going, yeah. so I had to keep the window up. And you know, I had to talk to Chris about Damn. shit, nigga. So that jacket was soft at one time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's mouth cured the jacket. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> cured that shit. <laughs> Hardened it. Hey, boy, I wanted to let the water in the car before I would let that, that nigga was talking, Man. nigga. I was like, God damn. And he damn. just got off the plane That flight from too. Philly to yeah. motherfucking L.A. too? Uh, that nigga woke up. Cheese steak, like, vodka. That nigga said, what's up, boy? <laughs> Slow motion for you. Ow! <laughs> Fuck all y'all. <laughs> Ow! What's that rapper name in this song, B Street Breakdown? The one who kept saying, Rah! Melly Mel. Melly Mel. You got the Melly Mel type of <laughs> Rah! Yo. <laughs> Oh. That nigga was talking to me. It was like flies in the faces. They live in like night. The house is even make the kettle look nice. Damn. Broken glass right. everywhere. <laughs> right. People, People pissing, pissing on the steps. 
Damn, water man. tastes funny. It's forever too sunny, and they work all but don't make no money. I was like, God damn. Ah. That's right. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> While he was talking, yeah. that music was in my head. <laughs> Damn. Belly man. Kiss Chris breath smell bad. Rah. Rah. I'll burn your nose. Flag your nostrils. Right. <laughs> a dead frog in your mouth, oh, but you ain't breath. got it out. Your breath is bringing oh. a whole lot of doubt. <laughs> oh, there I go. <laughs> right. oh, oh, hold your nose. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, what you say? <laughs> so, guy, he said, hit the. Yeah, I forgot about that one. Yeah. That shit in there, too. You know the hit the. Uh huh. You know about the old school hip hop. Of course I do. Of course I do. Hit the. Bus she don't know no nose. new hip hop. She know all the old shit though. Yes, yes, yes I yeah. do. What new song you know? I don't know his song yet, but I like Little Dicky. I like Little Dicky. Little like his name. Uh, you what? don't even know about him. Little Dicky. Little Dicky. Yes. No see? coincidence. Ain't no such thing as coincidence. Whatever. Oh, you name, don't Little know. Dickie. You ain't up on him. It's a white dude too. Yeah. I was just going to say. So I, I, see, I, I, I haven't heard a little dicky. Well, it's funny. MC he's Disclaimer. Funny. Yeah, he's MC Disclaimer. Hey, look, I told you up front, I'm a little dicky. What you <laughs> right. I wasn't. I had no false advertising here. Right. Hey, it's not the size. It's the motion of the, whatever right. little dick guy. You ain't got to lie to kick it. Yeah, you ain't got to lie to kick it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to beat the shit out of those walls. Eat both sides of them at different times, bitch. Right. <laughs> I'm going to poke the uh, shit Corey, out of this. Corey, you I have a 24-year-old son. I hear that Dicky. Yeah, he got a Kendrick got Lamar a remake. Oh, he got he's down with Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, he got a remake. Uh, if these walls could reach, that's that's his uh, little dick. Uh, oh, this fucker. <laughs> <Man. Damn. laughs> See, ass full of pussy and you dive in it. Mm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you dive in it. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Uh, there was a lot of shit happen while we was gone. You know, whenever we miss a week, it's always something that happened that we be like, damn, I wish we was there to shit. talk about that shit. No, a lot of stuff. I saw. Like what? Uh, what during the break? Well, I'm just saying, I'm going to tell you one thing that stood out to me. I saw Barack on TV hustling them tears. Oh. When he was I talking about that, that gun shit. Yeah. I'm like, you know. Man, this motherfucker is they man. This motherfucker, they want him to help stop people to bear arms if no do you know luck. if let me luck. tell you something yeah. if black people leave their um safety to the system right. we're dead mm -hmm. <laughs> we're mm -hmm. dead <laughs> it's I like that, that motherfucker going alien we're dead i look like bambi they'll right. see it from my point of view right <laughs> hey, tito Bring in Tito so I get bring, bring in some tissue. Oh, talk like Barack, because I'm going to show you how his wife be behind him the whole time. Well, I want all of you to know <laughs> that if you're carrying a gun. That's Michelle's face, Corey. That's how Michelle looks. <laughs> I just want The whole time he talking, watch with Michelle around. She be That's like, how her face I lost is She be like Chuck D. I'm at a loss. You know what? I just want I want to see what Tiny is. What if Michelle could talk? Oh, what if, what if this she gay, she talk, this right? voice motherfucker? Oh, you tell him about that dick I found in your ass. Unless, unless I bring that up, <laughs> we're talking about guns, not cannons. Right. Oh God! I see skies blue. Oh, <laughs> don't push the ass off the mic, nigga. Damn. Fuck all that crying, bitch. Nah, man. Listen, man, when man. you cry oh, on shit. TV. Man, that shit better be some solid shit that happened yeah. where niggas could be like, man, I feel you, homie. I feel the breakdown. Like that Kobe shit when he got caught cheating and his wife was with him. And that mother was like, man. A minister. <laughs> but, <laughs> but Shaq did it too. Right. <laughs> that was, hey. Who is this suck ass nigga <laughs> with his wife right so there sorry. crying? Looking at him just, so ooh, it was. Shit. How she was looking at him? She was, he was like, she did have the straight face on, you know. Yeah, she did. She, she was now like, "Say it all." 
Tell him, tell well, him what you did, you fucker. That's how she sounds. That's right, because she is Mexican. Tell what you did, you fucker. You're going to pay me. I want my fatty. I want my fatty. Fuck that. I want my fatty. Wow. Yeah, you went Chicano on him right there. Yeah, she don't think she didn't. She is. Yeah, fucker. I'm putting this out there right now. They won't last three years while he was retired. They won't last. Oh, you say because it. when you're home every day, it brings a whole new level to the relationship. When two people get up in the morning and one got to go to work and the other got to go to work, they got a pretty good chance of making it. Right. It's a do routine. Think, so not but when it's two motherfuckers laying up under each other after about 14 nuts, they be like, you know, I'm sick of your motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> get the fuck. Fuck you, man. Do, you, saying, do, you, do you think he just going to be at the house? Where else he going to go and justify it? I think he's going to get into TV, just, maybe. He's going to what? Get into he TV. might do TV. I so. He might do commentary. Mm. He can't commentary because he got that hater vein. Look, I'm not saying oh, that yeah. bad. Kobe is an assassin on the court. Well, he was. He was an assassin. I remember Jordan last All-Star game when they thought the uh, East was going to win because Jordan hit that shot. Then Kobe came down and hit another one like yeah. that. I say, this motherfucker is an assassin. Mm. This motherfucker is bad. But them days is over. Mm. Now you just a regular nigga with a with a horseshoe hairline. Look, you're gonna have to find some kind of hobby or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's his wife. That's his wife. Fuck, you keep going through my shit, eh? Right. <laughs> She's a cholo. What is going yeah, on? Yeah, he made her. Uh-huh. The motherfucker gonna be calling. Hey, is he gone yet? <laughs> Cause they used to him being on the road. Oh. The motherfuckers, his wife got to know. Look, when you gone all the time, what you think happened? Why do motherfuckers think they the only ones out here fucking around? Now, what makes you think that she didn't go to a lot of the games and they didn't go a lot of places together? That's already? not Doug Christie. Doug Christie's wife went to all the games <laughs> and fucked hilarious. his contract that up. Was, that was ridiculous. I'm gonna be there too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, you pesky bitch oh, if I was his teammate I'd be like man you, you got to lead this pesky bitch oh god oh, I thought you said husky <laughs> pesky I did. Damn. That's what... pesky. when you go to your man games you go to his job just to make sure he ain't fucking nobody what the fuck cause I know me I wouldn't give a fuck if I was deeply in love I'd be like now look bitch shit you taking it too far Stay home, goddammit. You think I if just cause you hear her shit, I get her to halftime and go fuck. <laughs> you cannot stop the fucking from happening. If people go fuck, they go That's fuck. Real. That's real. That's real. That's absolutely the truth. Mm. You just at yeah. the games because you crazy. Now Kobe wife didn't go to all the games. She was back at the crib, kicking it with with the homie. You don't know. She could be No, been you remember all them reports was out? When that car got towed out? Oh, yeah. All that shit? Motherfucker, so look. you're saying she was cheating? Look, man. Let me tell you something. He met her in high school. school. Yeah, she was young, yeah. She never like, ran the streets young, without having to look her back. He got to let her go out there and get that street dick for about two years. Once she find out that it ain't really shit out here, then she'll be like, take me back. That's street what you, dick. Street dick. That's what I call it. Niggas who don't really know you, but they still over there. <laughs> it's a phase people go through. Yeah, at the end, it'd be like, so, where are you going? Right. I'm going over here. Where are you going? You know motherfuckers going to tell because it's Kobe. You know Kobe? Yo. I'm oh, now the guy's girl. Mexican. Now yeah. the guy's Mexican. Well, she might fuck with black dudes. Hey, like, I'm fucking Maybe that dick Kobe White. That got that bitch. <laughs> bitch <motherfucker. laughs> New charger off the lot with a credit card. <laughs> <laughs> New charger. Got a challenger off the bitch, Nick. You like niggas talk. I'm doing it, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> get paper off the hoe, nigga. <laughs> Dick getting put down. I can't, I can't. Dick stay wet, nigga. Oh, God. <laughs> what? I don't Jesus. supply shit but the dick. Right. You know that. <laughs> that From the get go. work, nigga. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Right. <laughs> I don't even play with the pussy. I just beat it up, nigga. Oh God! Kobe too busy to do it. Somebody gotta do it, nigga. Right? That nigga Kobe back home, nigga. He ain't the only one working out in that bump, fuck, nigga. Stop. 
I can't. I can't. <laughs> That's, nigga That's what niggas do. Every time a nigga fuck your girl, he go tell somebody. He can't help it. That's stupid. You can't help it. You go <laughs> tell your homie. You're going to be like, man, don't put this out there. Your homie going to be like, no, I ain't going to put it out there. Soon as he know, he going to be like, what? What? <laughs> Little fly? <laughs> nigga, that nigga fucking Kobe, bitch, Nick. <laughs> Working it out, Nick. <laughs> you hungry? You hungry? Nigga, on me, nigga. Like, well, I got bread. Right. <laughs> I got bread. Who hungry, nigga? We all hungry. I got the card right here, nigga. Right, nigga. Gave me that nigga ID with the card, nigga. Pin number and everything. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now that's fun. even if you even if the shit happened before you was with a girl, nigga still will say who? Who you talking about? Huh? <laughs> Used to knock that down, nigga. <laughs> Stop. This nigga the girl, this nigga who Michelle Obama used to fuck with. Oh. They be like, yeah, man, that nigga Barack, he be like, who you talking about, Barack Obama? <laughs> well, what Michelle that nigga? Because the nigga used to knock that shit down, Nick. Nick. Oh, my God. That's what oh. niggas do. Damn. Yo, girl. That's why when niggas be walking and shit, and your girl see somebody, and they be like, what's up, girl? Niggas be like, who is that milk? Oh. <laughs> who the fuck is that? <laughs> you know who he is. Oh, Even God. when you get the girl to admit, the first thing niggas say, okay, I know you used to fuck with the nigga before me, but let me ask you something. Let me ask okay. you something. <laughs> <sighs> Did you suck the nigga dick? <laughs> the niggas be wanting to know if they girl sucked the nigga we dick. We were together. We didn't do that. It, just, it was just sex. Stop. Don't keep bringing that up. No, you out here sucking dirt. <laughs> right. I that didn't was, know where your mouth been. That was 96. I wouldn't give a fuck. <laughs> fuck you sucking dick before you meet me, for. Oh, my God. I'm having 69s and 96. Answer the question. <laughs> That's what niggas be on. I'm just saying. Oh, God. Somebody say I got on a molest kid shirt. Oh yeah, they've been going in on the come shirt. Come here, come here, take that collar. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You nine, nigga, you can handle it. Oh my god! Stop! Don't play with like, this nigga here. Mm-mm. You ain't no baby no more. <laughs> <laughs> you nine, nigga. You can handle it. You ain't no baby no more. What the fuck? <laughs> and that's a bullshit. That is a fucked Somebody up. Somebody say my fit on the candy corn side of the game. Candy corn. I like that. That's oh, fucking hell. I, I forgot. I got to get the homie uh, Gooch, man. We got to shout that brother out. That's a good dude. Oh, yeah, Gooch be killing him. The Gooch be putting up all them damn memes oh. and shit. Gooch, they putting up the memes. Man. He's great, nigga. Gooch the great. <laughs> That's not yeah. wood. Oh, God, I can't. 2016. Sorry, Corey, I would be paying doing, more man? attention, but there's a couple of things I want to send to Chris I haven't gotten to, so apologize. Okay, 2016, God damn it. Look, wow. we in this little pussy ass studio. We will be moving soon. Yeah. I'm shocked mm-hmm. the landlord ain't came in here now. Cody, you need to pay the rent. <laughs> Wait, did he, I think he left you a box of chocolates. Uh-uh. It did leave some chocolates. Are I ain't eating that shit. He you know who chocolate. he is. You can't eat no chocolates a man gave you. What he the trying fuck is to that? get to your heart. And when Where? he eats this <laughs> chocolate, he'll be, be I didn't eating him. my shit. Right. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> Some yeah. shit like that. Where the chocolates at? They're the chocolate? right there, nigga. What is Right over there on the couch, man. I don't see anything. There's a box of chocolates under the 5150 shirt right there. Oh. Please grab that. It's a red box of chocolate, man. I ain't man. got no water in here. I can't I'm fuck with it anyway. Trying to Are you going to try one? Just grab it. What? One. <laughs> Corey's being brave. You know Uh-oh. how to get to that man's heart. There's water on the shelf. Oh, oh, are they singing? There you go, oh, man. Oh. Wrapped up in that thing. Oh. I'm supposed to eat this if a man gave this to me. It's wrapped. That's nice. His wife it's probably Christmas wrapped wrapping. it. No, 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 no. He's okay. Russian, right? He gave me all dark chocolates. Oh, bro. That's, black chocolate that's the best. Black that's got yeah. antioxidants. We, we give you black the, chocolate. We got a chocolate for you. <laughs> <laughs> I know you will like it. <laughs> You're liking it. 
Same Look, color. Hey, all dark. dark. That's what I said. <laughs> I hey, say there ain't no coincidence when they was shopping. Get to you. We need the blackest chocolate you have. This is all dark, yep. And also, I need some white gloves so he can eat it. Right. All cocoa on it. He may bite his hands if he, he doesn't. Bite his hand if he don't eat it. I he got love like for love. the cocoa. Yo. Oh, my God. <laughs> you don't say that. He's stupid, man. And then I'm going to watch his podcast to watch him eat it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what you say it's about like Dracula? Right? <laughs> I thought he be sounding. Right. <laughs> he old though, like my landlord up here. He an old motherfucker. Yeah, he is. And he got a wife that look like she around about in her. She about, no, hell no. She about in her late forties. I know she just waiting on him to be like. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna turn this motherfucker into a goddamn. <laughs> Seamstress shop. Got them. Seamstress They're gonna be making shop. sweaters in this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and pierogi too. <laughs> and pierogi. <laughs> What's pierogi? That's a one person uh, beef patty. Dee didn't know what it was. She was I like, I'll show you. Oh, yeah, I know what they're. I can make them too. It's, a, it's an empanada. Yeah. It's a beef patty. It's all the yeah. same shit. <laughs> it's an empanada. It's the same. It's a beef it's patty. It's a sandwich <laughs> that involves heat. <laughs> and a uh, seared heat. sandwich. It's a sandwich just sealed. Oh, man. Hilarious. Hey, man. So, exactly. um, you got your segment ready now? I'm trying. Well, because, you know, I'm suffering from that. I was telling you. I told Chris. Did your back blew out? No, I <laughs> wish. No. Um, <laughs> no, I got to come. Somebody in the chat room just asked if they could. Oh, Get a little taste. Pop that old ass My arthritic. My gave me some Cosby chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat it. Here's a land gym one. <laughs> um, he Cosby. will get dizzy. Right. He will put pin in his hand and make him sign the lease. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I, I, I got a compressed nerve. It's, it's going to be all right. I was rent raped. What? Rent <laughs> raped. Oh, God. <laughs> I went rent seduced. Motherfucker, motherfucker be talking. It's over. It's, don't worry. It's, it's over. I'm done. done. You, you did good. You're good for next year. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. Oh, Take yeah. an enema, though. <laughs> so we can start if you want. Take an enema, though. Yeah, an enema. <laughs> you saying he bought you a box of x lax nigga? Yeah. <laughs> Fancy it's totally wrapped. Very I don't fancy. think anything's wrong with it. It's see. good for your stool. Is it better for the dude if a girl take an enema before he fucking name? Oh, but that's such a dude thing. He left the price on it. He left the price? Uh-huh. How much was it? $10. <laughs> Yo, nigga, hey, let me tell you something. That motherfucker <laughs> is doing right by you, pimp. That's the oldest trick that's in the nice. book. Oh, that shit was $3. Rap. He put a $10 no, right. stick on it. Shit. That's Russell Stover, is that? All right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that might be shit. diabetes. Yeah, that's Sugar-free. Just, they made that motherfucker 12 Christmases ago. And they was like, <laughs> put preservatives in the... the, 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 the when he bites, he break his white teeth. It's <laughs> <laughs> pearly whites. Hell no. Hey, so, All dark, pimp. Yeah, All dark. that's what it says. Actually, I, I eat dark chocolate. Yeah, you dark better. It's the best. Yeah, it's yeah, got dark antioxidants in it. The best, yeah. man. It's yeah. the best for you. Fuck mm-hmm. with it. 85% cocoa. Yeah. You want to lose weight? Do what the boxers do. Put that dark chocolate uh, 30 minutes within your meal, before or after. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, nigga. I didn't know that shit. Dark chocolate. Right. Best way I know the little Make sure ain't no shit. puncture wounds in it. No, I don't think so. Give me hypodermic needle. I'm getting chocolates for cutting. There is an ashy piece of chocolate, too. <laughs> <laughs> that chocolate needs some lotion. There is. It is ashy. You can't Corey see Corey was right. That shit was made 10 years ago. Let me see. Which one is this? Is this a Corey one? Oh, got me. I'm proud of my complexion. Fuck D all going you. in. What? Let me see, Chris. No. No, that's how I was in the car next to Chris while he was talking. <gasps> was it that? Oh, I got the Snickers type one. That's good. I want the one with the um. I think that the ashy one is the one I would eat. But Peanut it's, eat? It's ashy. You don't want it because it's light skin. Put it near Chris's mouth. The ash right. will burn off. Press the button that on his yeah. mouth. microwave mouth ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> huh? all, all Chris food digests whether he wants to do or not. Shit is liquidated. Right. Oh, I got the bad one with that nugget in it. I never. Shit food was Chris be crying. 
<laughs> just for <laughs> once, I'd like to buy the hamburger. Can I read yours? Just gotta have it just sitting <laughs> right before oh, my TV. Uh -huh. Just once. Yeah. And it's under your head. A light what Just hair. once, I'd like to eat a fit of tea stain. A light hair, like iced tea color. Right there. Uh, let me know iced tea color. <laughs> 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 D, look, look, look at that. <laughs> Look at how long that is. That's I want. about his length. I don't want you bringing my name up on this show. The high roller. Woo! Original gangster. Oh, I can't. I can't. Well, because I could barely see Actually, that piece of chocolate was good. It's very good. Y'all don't want that? It's really good. Zoe, you want some dark chocolate? Zoe? Nah, I'm good. That's coy conversation right there. What kind of shit is that? Nigga be throwing hints. So, would you like some dark chocolate? <laughs> Fuck. That's how, that's oh, how, I got, how, the, that's I got how the That's how gay thugs be hollering at niggas. Them cold words. You trying to do something with it, <laughs> We <laughs> ain't got to fight. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that mm. shit. I damn mm. motherfucker. Hey, Zoe, you know what I'm saying? You my man, but if we ever get that's into right. it, I had to ump that thing on you. <laughs> <laughs> mm, well, this, is, this shit is getting more and more awkward every week. Oh, that's a, that's what old I boy. I got the dark chocolate Milky Way. You got the Milky Way. Yeah. That shit actually good, Joe. Sorry. It's delicious. I like it. Chris, you want some? Not bad. Um, they got a I mint got one over here. I, hope. I got the one right here. I got the one with coconut in it. Sorry, they need the one with the mint in it for Chris. God damn it. <laughs> oh, the mint jelly, nigga. <laughs> God damn it. The, the, the crest chocolate. <laughs> The peppermint jam. <laughs> <laughs> the crest chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, man. Chocolate um, flavored crest, nigga. <laughs> with sea salt. <laughs> with sea salt. Did you perform anywhere on With little sand and with gravel in it. <laughs> Big shout out to St. Louis, y'all motherfuckers that came and showed y'all and... St. Louis was the shit. Oh, we did it a New Year's Day. It wasn't oh. New Year's Eve. Mm. We did the New Year's Day comedy show. Who's so we? all it was a lot of uh, who was we? It was me was and JJ, and we had Michael Blackson, the African dude, on the show. Oh, that's right. It, it was a lot of dudes with they um they side girls on New Year's Day. Yeah, yeah. The side side girl is New Year's Day. They was hanging out with they dudes. They was happy and shit. They was sitting next to him with that side girl attitude. You know how they be looking like. Oh, they yeah, see if he's laughing. Day. See if he's laughing. Right. <laughs> it's my day. <laughs> <laughs> I got the babysitter paid over all night. <laughs> you gonna spend the night with me? <laughs> wow. Maybe we're gonna have a good time at the show. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna drop you off. <laughs> I'm gonna call you in about two days. I'm gonna drop you off. It's terrible. <laughs> Yeah. I had the babysit all night. I told you about making plans. Right. Just go with the flow. Go with the flow. Shit is always fluid. So, you know, you got to Why be... you always make me drive when we go somewhere? Uh. <laughs> I'm trying to get you good at following me. I'm getting your trailing skills good. up. That was good. I don't want him to get Your yet. trailing skills. Trailing. Right. Mm -hmm. So it was good then. It went good. Yeah, St. Louis, them okay. motherfuckers came through. Them motherfuckers was mobbed up in that motherfucker. It looked this going to be a good week, too, because I'm going to Memphis. Oh, Ooh, shit. Love okay. Memphis. That hood okay. shit. Yeah. Love Memphis. Mm -hmm. It's a comedy club out there called Chuckles. Oh, yeah. My man Prescott does it. Um, and I was one of their first acts that they had. Um, and they wasn't ready. They weren't ready. They didn't know all them niggas was going to be in there. It's I was a like, newer club? I was like, yeah, it's a newer club. And I was like, You're Memphis? Already... I said, you know, the, you know, in Memphis, they fuck with me in Memphis, yeah. but the club didn't know. You know what I'm saying? So they wasn't even stamped for that shit. They, they, they wasn't they, ready for that they shit. They sold they out. My drinks, motherfucker! Right. Like, what the fuck out. you mean you ran right. out of Hennessy? Right. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say that. Play that. Yeah, I, I did that shit uh, back in the day. We was always killing Memphis. Me and Eddie Griffin was out there. That, uh, the convention center and all of that. Memphis, was, Memphis, Memphis, always Memphis up. show love if they fuck with you, man. But look, yeah, this, for real. The, the, the way staff be having little talent shows after the show and shit. They be in that motherfucker having dance contests getting fucked up. <laughs> this is a black club. They don't I regulate the liquor. Griffin, they ain't got them little liquor things where it show how much you pull out. They be like, oh. <laughs> 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 I got to get back to my farm. My cow's about to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nigga, in, in Memphis, in, in the hotel. Like cow is about to wake up. What's that hotel? There's a hotel that's right there by the convention center. You know what I'm talking about? That pyramid? Next to that, right next to it, there's a hotel there. I know what you're talking about. Is I, that a Marriott? I think it is. Yeah. I was in there with Daddy Griffin back in the day, and yeah. uh, him and he, he cussed out T.D. Jakes in that fucking wait, in wait, bar. Please tell us that shit. Wait, 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 wait. You mean, <laughs> talking about him or he Get ready, get ready, get no, ready, get ready. T.D. Jakes was there. What was T.D. Jakes Eddie doing Griffin. there? It was me, Eddie Griffin. I think Earthquake was on the show way back in, like, 97, 98, some shit like that. And what, T.D. Jakes didn't approve of what yeah, Eddie was saying? Yeah, he was in the bar. The show was done. Right, and I guess T.D. Jakes had had something that same weekend. At the comedy show, blew him out. So he's in the bar at the hotel, and he was he was saying something, mumbling and looking at Eddie or something. Mm. <laughs> Eddie was like, nigga, fuck all this. <laughs> I'm going to confront this nigga right now. Oh, my now. God. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? He that went over and he said, Reverend T.D. Jakes. <laughs> <laughs> he said, nigga, don't try to hide. I see oh. your big sweaty ass. T.D. <laughs> 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 Jakes was like, listen, I don't, don't want to have nothing to say to you. He said, you, nigga, you just mad because your concert didn't do as good as my concert. <laughs> no. Yes, nigga, your concert. That's all that shit is, is a concert for old motherfuckers. A concert the old, old motherfuckers was at my show tonight, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> motherfuckers don't know that preachers be hustling like we be hustling, wow. man. <laughs> it was like, uh, he, he got his neck, got to move. He's like, nigga, you better back up, nigga. <laughs> Yo, I saw that shit with my own eyes. I called the Koi Army to this motherfucker. Oh. Yo. Oh, Fuck the shit. Army of the Lord. I got the Army of the Koi's. Oh. Somebody oh. called him T.D. Cakes. Oh! <laughs> he was that was a... before niggas knew all of that. You know? Right, right, right. right. Dude, and he was in that. town this weekend. Oh, he um, he <laughs> showed up at his uh, oh. son-in-law's. <laughs> T.D. Jakes? Yeah, they got to hustle out here, too. Well, no, but his, remember I told you that that church that Anushnam go to, that one church where all these people go to, Lisa House Ray, Lisa Ray, Jay. Common, the all these people come. Hustle. House of Hustle. House of Hustle. Wow. wow. <laughs> if you go in there, I If hope you they pay get your every... tithes, God going to fuck with you when you die. Once it's over, God got you back. Uh-oh. I'm a good preacher. I, I got good game. That's Bible game. game? Say it again. Wait, what? <laughs> what? If you don't pay your tithes while you're alive, God ain't going to fuck with you in the afterlife. <laughs> I got your back when you Wait. die. Oh, my right. God. You don't get a VIP pass when you die if you don't pay your tithes while you're alive. Oh. Wow. So you can get the VIP packet today right here at right. Mad Tower. Send your letters. <laughs> Yo, that used to be the one. If your offering is under $100, you waiting that bullshit line over there. Oh. Oh my God. If you got a hundred dollars or more, you're getting a little shorter line over here. And we got some crackers and grape juice for you. <laughs> and also we have those windmill cookies. <laughs> <laughs> wafers. With the almond flakes. Some wafers, yeah. What right. the fuck? Damn. Well Oh God. Yeah. No. Well, yeah. He was in town. But what? We you ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm making sure be ready oh, for this yeah. topic. We're waiting on you. All right. That is known across the nation as these loose talk, talk about, about bullshit. bullshit. Yes. Yeah. All right. Happy New Year. Um, uh oh, she putting them glasses on. Them eyes about to go down like real a Wait a second. But I have my new contacts on, so now I can see distance, not a problem. See? Uh, so I see all the details. So you I can have contacts <laughs> and regular glasses? This is for reading. These you are for distance. Up? Like, I can read the right. chat. The chat room, yeah, I can read yeah. it. Yeah, totally fine. Look at that. Uh huh. Mm. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> what? And then you see twenty seventeen. That's very funny. Okay, I'm telling y'all. Okay, hold on. Hey, What's the new Instagram? Oh, she's not on any social media. You know anybody that does that? She's not on one single I thing. I love a noose. If I was a, if I was a young nigga. Boy, do you know that is a, they call that a, a ham. 
<laughs> Sweet ass ham. Uh, honey baked ham. You know what? Yeah, yeah, she doesn't believe you in that. She's not on it. You can mold her into whatever you want to mold her into. Pretty much. Wow. Pretty much. You could create a new religion and she'll be down with oh that. Oh, my shit. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm a sacrotite of hokum. Oh. <laughs> a sacrotite. Sacrotite. Damn. Uh, anyway, all right. I'm a, I'm almost There's a new know. word, a sacrotite. I'm a sacrotite of a hokum. Anyway. He's coming right. back for me. This just in, and I'm kind of I'm I'm hoping that <laughs> it's not true. Uh-oh. Um it's so fresh, but anyway, um, and it's literally like all over the the the, the, the lines right now. <laughs> they are claiming that uh, rap mogul Suge Knight was sexually assaulted in jail today. They had the doctors and everybody come in, and so apparently, apparently, former rap music uh, mogul. Uh, Marion Shug Knight was uh, reportedly in stable condition after being sexually assaulted by three other jail inmates, allegedly. Uh, according to the captain, Frank Wiseman, and he, he is a legitimate captain here in L.A., a spokesperson for the county jail said that uh, Shug Knight um, was assault, sexually assaulted multiple times by two rival jail mates at approximately 8.30 this uh, evening, yesterday. Sources say that Knight was transported to the jail's infirmary, and that's where everybody started uh, finding out because the doctor had to examine. Um, so they have documentation of the attack. Um, they said claiming that several, he claimed they, right. he, was, he was taken, is allegedly now, guys, hold on, and that, that he was, they, it's allegedly reported that he was taken to the infirmary. Uh, what is an infirmary? That's the, the hospital, hospital. That's basically the hospital, the hospital but in the jail. Sure I know. All right. Anyway, that he requested Where they emergency stitch up your ass. medical attention, claiming that several inmates had entered his cell. This is his report: had entered his cell to physically and sexually abuse him. Uh, mm. Captain Weiss said that Mr. Knight was then taken to the infirmary to document his report and his report his report his allegations. After examining Mr. Knight, it is evident that a physical and sexual attack did occur, but they're not giving details. So somebody said. She Sugar night. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Damn it. That was from the chat room. And so anyway, they said, though the attack is believed to be gang-related incident, a full investigation is underway now to help determine who was involved in this assault of Mr. Knight. At a BC. Mm. So I... Well, this is what I'm saying. It's like, <sighs> this shit happens all the time, right? Man, But why, why is the police... Putting that out there. Well, you already know why they, they, they did. Yeah. Because you know why. <laughs> Talk because about it. They, 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 they trying to listen, man. Suge Knight is a is not only a black male. He is a black male that they are definitely They've been trying of. to get, afraid of, and afraid they've been of. trying to get to, yeah. It's horrifying. He was very man. successful. I mean, he did what he did He's, the way he did it. his way, did, right. Unapologetic. And uh, I'm going to be honest, I dealt with Suge a couple of times. And you know what? I always had my money. Lovely. No problems. There's a level of respect, professionalism, no problems. So all the shit that people, you know, the myths and all of that, hey, yeah. I don't know. I wasn't there. I know I always got my money, and it was great, right on time. But this yeah. is what I'm saying. No it's problem. like jailhouse stories, jailhouse myths, jailhouse facts. They don't always hit the streets like that. That's yeah, what that, I'm saying. Right, right. When I hit, when I when when you said that D, I was like, where did this shit come yeah, from? Yeah, that's why I'm like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but, <laughs> Shug Fox. I don't know what. That's terrible. Yo, <laughs> man, <laughs> hey. Mm, I, 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 I don't know. I, I, can't, I can't. Look, if I go to jail. That's horrific. And I it know is. I do that some real time. Horrific. You got to get killed. You got to kill me. You just go all the way kill me, right. out. Sissy it's Mayor, right. all them niggas gonna send niggas at me. The you know niggas what? is gonna be like, fuck that nigga. Uh, you know what? <laughs> so, is that how If you do enough time, they gonna, they gonna come at you. So yeah, with a story you... like that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just reporting. I'm like, hesitant to go in on I'm shit a, like that. I because know. I'm like, where that come from? <laughs> Who put that shit out there? Stop. Chris is over here reading what? all the things off the, the chat room. Y'all niggas stupid, man. We'd like to hope it's a hoax, because that would the be horrible. The goddamn chat but room saying, is it was, you know, It was flooding. Because oh, was you don't wish that on no one. No, nah, nobody. Well, that's it, right. That's the next thing I was going to say. When you in jail and you are a heterosexual man, 
The worst thing in the world to do is to get gang raped. Because after about the fifth nigga, when it don't hurt as bad, you're going to be like, I can't believe this shit happening. There's eight more niggas in line. You know, so is this a new lifestyle for me? Right. Am I going to have to live this way? Can I have some wine? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody <laughs> called him Suge Avery. These <laughs> niggas is out of control. Hey, man. All right. Well, anyway, so let's, know, let's, see, let's... that's the thing, man. What? That's the thing about being a, a big, bad motherfucker, which a lot of people are. Bad motherfuckers. There's always somebody bigger and badder. And there's always like three or four or five or six motherfuckers bigger and badder. Mm. Just remember that show when they had that shit on lockdown. And that old nigga said, oh, yeah, I gets booty. I gets plenty of booty. He said, <gasps> oh, I walk yeah, up to dude. him. He said, I walk up to him and I tell him, now, look here. I like shit and I want shit. Oh, God. And then we can do this the easy way. Or we can do this hard way. Oh. Yo, that's yeah, right there you're wow. supposed to take off on a nigga. But Bop, bop. that okay. might be the plan. Right. What if oh. four of his flunkies are waiting and once he takes off on me, that's when y'all get him from the, you know? You're and done. it's probably more of a turn on because it's a you're struggle. Done. Best thing to do if you're going to jail. I would never wipe my ass in jail. And just tear <laughs> just shit on okay. yourself. Yeah, right that's what my dad said he would do. Yeah, my dad. I would never wipe my ass if I went to jail. <laughs> exactly. There go, here come funky ass. Yeah, exactly. They'll be like, here comes shit, shit wind. <laughs> oh, Chris Prep body ass. No. <laughs> hey, fellas. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Shit pin. Run for yourself. <laughs> I was on the Greyhound bus with this fat bitch. When this bitch walked through the aisle, motherfucker was like, God damn, bitch. <laughs> No, he did not. No, I'm saying this was a lady who was not fucking with nobody, but she had a funky ass. Well, when she walked past you on the Greyhound bus, we was like, God <laughs> damn, that bitch stank. <laughs> that was her plan. She like, I'm going to sit alone. You oh. I better believe I'm going to sit alone. I got a plan. That bitch <laughs> ass smell like an ass. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> a dirty one, yeah. <laughs> That smell like D. And All right. Ass. Well, let's let's hope that that didn't that, that didn't happen. National Geographic uh, perfume on in that bit. Oh, All right. Man. So let's move on. So more drama for Future and Sierra. And again, once again, using social media. I guess it's the young folks nowadays, right? Where people want to use social media to just uh, put your business out there and kind of go off on each other. Yeah, I don't realize that shit's gonna be there forever. For, forever, can't remove it really. And also, when you have children, I don't understand that. Just because you think a kid is a, a baby or something, at some point, you know, somebody's gonna get, you know, they're gonna get older to be able to understand stuff like that. But anyway, so he, um, he's been saying that he's not, he hasn't been seeing his son uh, like he should be. And he said, you know, uh, and, he, and he put it out there on his Instagram or Twitter. He tweeted it and he said um, that he is surprised that she's not letting him see his son as much as he should because he pays her 15000 a month. And then she, her people said, uh, no, he doesn't. <laughs> so people are kind of like making fun of the whole thing where he went on the thing to say, look, I give her this much. I should be able to see my son as, you know. All want. I know is on a social media site, mm. they had her and Russell Wilson mm -hmm. out, and she had on some shoes that showed her feet. Oh, God. And oh God. Here we she go. has the amphibian feet. Oh. Wait, where she the, got the meat between? The, yeah, the baby toe and, the, and that foot next to the baby toe connect. The but that's right nothing right wrong right. with that. Maybe she's That's a little, amphibian feet. She's half mermaid then. That's kind of okay. cool. Got that damn darling, what is? <laughs> or half mantity. Oh, God. oh, a mantity is but awful. But it would throw oh, you off if you if you smashing in that amphibian foot right there and shit, and then that bitch get ready to come. She'd be like, I'm finna come. Ribbit. You know what? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this bitch is a frog. <laughs> So anyway, but that brought up, he's funny as hell, but, but that brought up people saying, that brought up the, 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 the so I said monkey feet, dancers feet. No, monkey's feet don't connect in the bottom. So you know. I said I look like the manager at a corn dog stand. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Terry, go to the back and get some more meal. <laughs> I anyway. want the green lemonade, Corey. <laughs> so anyway, so, so that does he have a? Do, do they have a custody? They order? have. They do, and apparently, um, that's why her rep. So the big thing was that 
people are claiming that it was a, a, a lie or whatever, a fib, that that's not, they're claiming that we have proof that's not what he paid. So then now everybody's saying, God dang, if, if so, that's quite a that's quite a chunk. You know what I'm saying? Well, well look, if you got a baby by somebody. That... Well, I was just going to go over some figures because it, it's bringing up everybody else's. Like, they're like, oh, oh and yeah. so-and-so pays this and so-and-so pays. Oh, yeah, so yeah. not a lot of people know that a lot of these things are on record. So they were saying, oh, for instance, if he's giving her 15 supposedly G's a month, they said, and they went uh, they went down the line about all these other people. So they were saying how the Dream pays Christina Milian 10000 a month for their daughter. Uh, Nas, who was initially ordered to pay wife Khalees $51,000 a month, now is reduced to twenty five. I heard that's month. over. The bitch, I mean, the daughter grown up. No, but she's not over 18 yet. No, they, they got a son. Yeah. Nas they got a son, police. too? Yeah, uh-huh. He had two moms. No, the, the daughter's, daughter's by from somebody another, else. From another one. Yeah, you're talking about the first first uh, girl. Um, and then Chris Brown, they said he's the only one that got off easy because he actually ended up uh, winning most of the um, custody. Uh, the custody because of the girl, how she was. And he his judgment for child support is only 2500 a month. Because he got a bus down. He got a baby by a bus <laughs> down. Oh, my God. That's what you call it. A girl, when the judge only give a bitch 2500 a month, the judge be like, you's a nasty bitch. Get this bitch 25. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll now, see you next month. Now, <laughs> Russell Simmons <laughs> Russell Simmons pays Kimora 40000 a month for the two daughters. But then now she has the son by... Demon, who, who, how do you pronounce Give it? Give his son yeah. yeah. He's, she's got a son by him, and nobody knows and the amount. And another kid. They pay, and then now she's got another kid on the way by right. the white well, guy no, that the, she's marrying. He's, he's a born. billionaire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. she's she got she, 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 she a good pussy hustler. <laughs> Stop. And, you know, motherfucker want to say something I say about that. Just like when I put out this, he, Eric Badu got three kids by three different guys. Mm -hmm. And don't nobody really be calling her a pussy street pussy. But that's street pussy. Three kids by three different dudes? You gonna try to justify that for me? Oh, that God. pussy belongs to the game. You know what? That pussy is just like a corner. Yep. God damn it. This is what niggas be. God. <laughs> what? Nigga? <sighs> anyway, all right. So let's keep moving on down a little uh, order. So 50 Cent <laughs> was initially ordered to pay 25000 a month to his oldest son's mom. Uh, and that was reduced to 6700 a month. And his current one, the one that used to be with D-Ray, homegirl, she's now with um, Jason Drulo. By the way, just thought I'd throw that in there. Uh, also, uh, who? Jason Derulo. What does he do? He's an R&B singer, and he's a younger guy, so I think she's maybe older than him. I love you. She's trying to. Is he? Well, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about this motherfucking music business. Mm. If you ain't producing shit, you stop it. That's true. If you producing ain't the one, and that's writing. True. And writing, and if you don't producing own, and you, writing, writing, you know writers get fucked over. Right. No, but if you if you wrote some shit, that's your shit. Mm -hmm. okay. The way the publishing breaks down, one hundred percent writers. And now they came out with that shit. One hundred percent producing. Mm -hmm. They came out with this shit. One hundred percent publishing. Together. Right. Look, look, look. They came out with this shit to rob motherfuckers. That's true. Look at that. The shit that you get for hits on the internet and all that shit, you get robbed, homie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only motherfucker get money from music is Caucasian people. Still, from day <laughs> they one, write the laws yeah. to make it where yeah. even if you created the shit, we gonna pay you nickels. We gonna get the money for the shit you write. That's mm -hmm. right. Because the, in the, the singing industry, if, yeah. if you ain't if you ain't touring, there. you fucked up. Right. Yeah, exactly. yeah, you ain't touring, you got your merchandise, Don't worry all about that. Yeah. The books. Listen, get the fuck out there and sing, man. Right. <laughs> Dance Save a jig. Your legs. You Dance did a great a job. Great job. <laughs> hey, 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 blow, okay? Keep blow. moving like Go that. Go blow, yeah. buddy. Keep moving. Knock them down. <laughs> you know, that reminds me of uh, the Mo Better Blue scene. With yeah, two brothers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just get out there, okay? Right. Don't, don't worry about it. Right. <laughs> That's what they do, right? Because you'll get oh, yeah. your little chips and you'll be satisfied. You ain't do nothing. If them Most motherfuckers ain't touring, they ain't getting no real paper. No. Now, see, you take a, a motherfucker like Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart gets decent money from the movies because mm. they haven't they mm. haven't found a way to. What's the word I'm trying to say? They haven't found a way. To kidnap that the way they well they want, where only Caucasian people get paid for movies and black people don't get paid uh, for movies. You right. see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. right. But they're going to find a way to do that too. If you got a felony, you don't get paid for your oh, movies. Something they'll, they'll come up out. with something. 
to make it where people like Michelle Pfeiffer will get what she is will get what they want her to have, mm-hmm. but you can do a movie and you won't get what you're supposed to have. Mm. But my friend uh, Kevin Hart, he's breaking down walls, if you ask me, because touring, mm. that's why I know he makes the most money. Right. Because it's just you know, him. It's not really much of a production. He's, right. He's he's doing the stage arenas, mm-hmm. which Selling is basically the, the goal. Yeah, but the my music industry like, is hip on that now. The music industry, it they'll used try to, to be, sign you for your touring rights. Yeah, and That's merchandise right. yeah. and everything. Now, it, it didn't used to be that way. It, the artists, like say a TLC, would make a lot of money. Oh man, touring. They can, you know, they they can get bread that way. But mm-hmm. now they want a piece of that too. All yeah. that, all that. It's like basically, if you ain't that nigga to go in there with that goddamn goddamn it and look that motherfucker okay. in the eye. Where he know you ain't bullshitting, you gonna get robbed. Mm-hmm. Only motherfuckers I know business. who got That's real. at least some of their money was motherfuckers who knocked on them motherfuckers door with shotguns. Wow. The music industry is set up where them motherfuckers just sing. They don't get paid. Mm-hmm. But speaking of TLC, they got played because they didn't write no records. They didn't produce any records. Mm-hmm. And then they had, you know, the jack leg manager. No, no, I was gonna no say, good, yeah, Pebbles. no good representation. They got to, to look played the because Pebbles was in front of what they doing. Right, but is there another way to say it? Right, no, no question. <laughs> right, but if they would have wrote something, mm-hmm. they would be better off today. If they would have wrote something, right. What do you mean if they would have wrote something? If they would have wrote something, Zoe, mm-hmm. Pebbles would have had them sign some shit. Sign it off. What you write belongs to me because motherfuckers Quite just possibly. be trying to get on. Right. I, Biggie I, yeah. was under the same bullshit with Puffy. Yeah. Biggie? Mm-hmm. But I, I'm just You saying, know what I'm saying? That's when, the best. when you write something, you're the owner of that. That's intellectual property. Now, if you dumb, you right. If you mm-hmm. dumb and you, you don't leverage know that. that shit right. off. Then you uh-huh. be poor. Uh-huh. The people who aren't dumb leverage it off because they want to get on. No, right, they're agree. so excited about right. I agree. Get, but get on. Group. But you can you still, assign what motherfuckers mm-hmm. come at you. But that's you what can still with take a that, contract and say groups. lawyer because they tell you don't don't sign some shit without legal representation. Get a lawyer and, and they lawyer get so excited they see the numbers. Lawyer go, hey man, this is a fucked up deal. But you poor, you might want to take this money right now. And then at, if you blow up, then you can come back and renegotiate. Or you're geeked up so bad or, that you just want to be Wait, famous. wait, wait. Did you hear what D said? All the motherfuckers up under Diddy broke, ain't they? But pretty much, yeah. I mean, that, who? There was no... I don't, who are no, they? Give me... Give, what are their names? You talking about the people under Diddy? Yeah. What, 112 total? All the total. starving. Okay. And if they sold records. Name, you got some celebrity out of it. Yeah. Right? So you got to pimp that. You got to You have to somebody. now, but I'm just saying yeah, but they but were so excited in the beginning they Listen, listen, yeah, listen to this, Freeze. Mm-hmm. This is important. Yo. Motherfuckers don't know what they be signing away when they sign away they publishing. Agreed. Right. They, they don't know. They don't. But they just know that this motherfucker bought him a car cuz that car ain't shit. Yeah, that's Agreed. right. Come on, nigga. Come Agreed. On, nigga. Come on, Agreed. Look at me. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. But the game hasn't changed so much in terms of the power. Michael Jackson Owned Sony ATV Publishing. And he was killed. No doubt. He was mm-hmm. killed for that publishing. He owned the Beatles. Mm. The, Beatles only, the Beatles only 250 songs in that. Look. That go- Sony ATV is over three or 400,000 records. And mm-hmm. that's just that. that that's mm-hmm. generating a billion dollars mm-hmm. a year. I tell people go. Oh, my my Jack Publishing, which is just yes. Michael Jackson yeah. records, which is 40, 50 million a year. So publishing... Is where the money is. Yes. Mm-hmm. If you write some shit, do not forfeit that fucking That's publishing. That's right. Don't Cause, cause you look, do it yourself. I did mine myself when I did the song with Tina. Michael Jackson um, was murdered. Don't ever think he wasn't. Mm-hmm. And if you look at the way his music has been jacked since his oh, demise, because oh, wow. when I when I downloaded that song, say say say, mm-hmm. he did with Paul McCartney. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's under Paul McCartney shit now. Yeah. That's well, not, we all know that was on the Thriller album. No, it wasn't. I'm wrong? Yes. Mm-hmm. Say 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 is not on the Thriller album. It wasn't? No. Mm-mm. Okay. That I'm is wrong. a Paul McCartney record. He, is it? Mike, what they did was Mike and Paul McCartney got together. Mm-hmm. Paul McCartney came and did a record for Mike's album, Thriller, uh, Girl what? Is Mine. 
And oh. then Mike did a record for his album, Say, Say, Say. I stand to be corrected. Mm -hmm. That's how that works. But I will say this. When Michael Jackson died, this you're not going to tell me I'm wrong. That Beatles catalog was the biggest shit out there for Christmas on iTunes. Oh, no question. Yeah, that year. Because yeah. it was a big deal. iTunes didn't have access to the rights. Mm -hmm. And but then now he, he died. Did. So sort it yeah. out in court. He did. Yeah. And mm -hmm. when he died, the estate which is run by that white man, the, the lawyer, who came with the second, the second will. Now, Mike had a first will that his mama had that said and then all of a everything sudden, go to mama. And then this fool. Then this motherfucker produced a second will that said, well, no, nah, the second will trumps the first will, and you're an executor, and we're going to break you off, Brad, but we run We're going to give you a estate. little of his money, but we gangster mm -hmm. this shit. Yep. Yep. That's how that works. So why are you talking Unless about... Unless you want to take some sleeping milk like your son, you get the fuck out the way. <laughs> some sleeping milk? Yeah, you gave him a sip of sleeping milk. <laughs> what the fuck? Huh. It's milk. It's like milk, but it makes you sleep faster. <laughs> he likes milk. Give him some sleeping milk. He'll love it. So, <clears throat> that's funny. But anyway, no, but no. Mike... Gangsta. Mike learned the publishing game from Paul McCartney. Mike... Mike dirty Mac Paul McCartney. How? When they was doing those records, Paul McCartney was telling Mike, nigga, the real money, money is in, is in publishing. So if so let me Mike was what, telling him, if he told you. Mike that, yep. how did he sell Mike his catalog? Let me so see. how did Mike dirty he Mac did, anything? He didn't sell Mike the catalog. So what happened? After Mike they, went and bought it. Let me, exactly. After, after, after they finished they recording, after they finished recording, Yoko Ono, goes to Paul McCartney and go, hey, man, this dude in England is selling the Beatles records. We should get it. It's only $5 million. I'll put up 2.5. You put up 2.5. He was like, nah, let's get him down lower. And while he was trying to haggle, Mike swooped in and said, here's $45 million. And that's why they weren't friends after that. And that's why they weren't friends after that. Yeah. That's why they weren't friends. Good looking, pimp. <laughs> And Cartney, I don't think that's dirty, Mac. And, and Paul was pissed for yeah, many, many for a years long they time. Was, they yeah. were friends, and Paul was like, "Nigga, you just gonna take the shit?" Mike, said, don't yeah. be mad because I got ahead of you on that shit. And this is how Sony for ATV once, was for created. For once, the black man beat the white man. <laughs> I ain't mad. And you can't get hey, over. I ain't mad. Go get the bread, Mike. You can't hey, get over. hey, nigga, <laughs> 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 stupid. <laughs> Stupid. Dang it, I was going to keep going through that <laughs> list. Paul, 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 hey, Paul, say, 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 motherfucker. Say, <laughs> say, 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 the girl is mine. This is going to be mine for show now. I'm going to come out with a new song. Your Mama, songs are mine. Mine, mine. Yes, sir, mine. Mine, <laughs> mine. Uh, Don't waste your time, Paul. <laughs> the doggone <laughs> songs <laughs> are mine. <laughs> the doggone songs are mine. The doggone songs are mine. Stupid. We're not going to fight about this, Michael. Uh, I don't worry. I'm a buyer, not a fighter. <laughs> well, that, well, that's funny because uh, okay. Paul McCartney is in this list. I was naming off. Paul uh, McCartney is in this uh, list. It's in this list that I was naming off. Let's Paul McCartney again. kept falling in love with bitches that ain't fuck with him for real, and they took him to court and robbed him. Well, let me finish. So look, let me go. Let me quickly go what? through the list because it's pretty entertaining. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. Uh, so Diddy pays forty forty thousand for the two sons, Justin and Christian. But there's no uh, legal uh, documentation of the twins that he had by O'Girl oh um, that he's with now. The one, I forget, I forget her name. Yeah, Kim Porter. There's who was no, that? That's the one who had twins by him that she kind of like was staying down with him while he's been messing around with Cassie. So she's still in the, in the, in the loop. He paid her good. I guess, because yeah, she's still around him. Good. Yeah, uh huh. Mel B, that's uh, the <laughs> one that had the baby by Eddie. Yeah. Recently, Mel B. One of the yeah, Spice the, Girls, right? Well, yeah, and she was a judge on that thing. She's getting 60000 a month from Eddie for the daughter. And Man. he doesn't talk to them. They don't talk at all. Do you so. know how many niggas out here in the streets would love that contract? Look, That's they're going to make all okay. that money disappear. You ain't going to have to pay that bitch no. shit when I'm through. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about niggas. What them contracts? They said the whole $60,000 $60, a month. A month. Hey, man, let me tell you something, homie. Look, check it out. <laughs> You give me bloop, 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 <laughs> and I promise you, all that shit gone. Goes so, away. So, anyway, <laughs> all that shit gone. Stevie Wonder, Stevie Wonder pays 
25000 a month for two of his nine kids, and the other ones are all grown. So you didn't see that coming. He pays how You much? know what? Ah. <laughs> uh. I fuck random bitches. Oh, shit. <laughs> Stanky ass home. <laughs> 25000 a month. No. And that's just for two of them, and he has nine total children, but the majority of them are, are, are up there. They're older. Wow. Michael Jackson yeah. ain't had no kids. That nigga. No. Well, no, it's three. Yeah, the blanket in them. He didn't blank fuck the have them. <laughs> no, blanket in them. Blanket in them. He didn't fuck the have Blanket in them. Rocklet. Oh, Paul McCartney, speaking of your boy. He pays his ex-wife, Heather Mills. That's the lady that had the prosthetic leg that was on the Fake dancing leg. show. He pays her He pays her 70000 a month. But he's super balling. He ain't yeah, even. but still, that's... That bitch family will get that call. We ain't seen her in four days. <laughs> call the police. That, it ain't like her not to come home in four days. <laughs> her leg is here. Her leg is here. <laughs> they got a tracker in that bitch leg. Her, her leg is here. Her leg is here. Be on that GPS. It says she by the swamp. <laughs> Yeah. Wait a minute. Uh, says she's in a cave. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, what's up? Her leg oh. is here. Britney is Spears shame. pays Kevin Federline, the ex, for their two boys, 20000 a month, and then he got a house, so he got their Kevin old house. Federline. He better buy a house, goddammit. He said, I'm going to do what these fucking bitches are doing, man. <laughs> he did it. Fuck that, dude. It cock that. Well, that's what, that's what Hallie's, uh, dude, she's claiming that that's that what her ex is trying to bitch, do. Man. Who, Halle Berry? Yeah, she's claiming that that's what the ex is trying to do. Like, he doesn't make any money. I'm paying him this and that. Yeah. Can you imagine if you got a baby by somebody like Halle Berry? I mean, mean, she's an attractive woman, but I know that something is wrong with her vaginally because don't nobody stay. She's that frigid. She's frigid. Something is wrong with her vaginally. That bitch got suede pussy. Suede? Yeah, it don't it feel like suede. You ever had them bitches before? You're like, God damn, bitch. God, bitch, get in the tub. Let's fuck in the pool. Shallow bitch. pussy. What the? Right. Shallow, Shallow suede pussy. Pussy suede. I mean, it's skipping like it's sticking and skipping. Oh, no, it's there women out there, here. I wouldn't be surprised. Because that's not how not produce any moisture at all. There's nothing moist about their vagina at all. <sighs> like, you have sex with them, mm. and you'll be like, wow, bitch, I just threw up in this motherfucker, uh, and I still ain't wet. You need to keep some Cetaphil by the bed. Right, bitch. Mm. Yeah, damn it. We got the oil wrestle for we fuck, bitch. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's move on from that, because I see where that's going. Uh, let's keep Stupid. moving. All right. So I don't know if you caught your boy, uh, Dexter Manley. Oh, uh, he was damn. on a he was on a TV show the other day, NFL great Dexter Manley, and he made a racist joke about black quarterbacks. Racist or just? Well, dumb? they're calling it both. It's both, really. It's both because if you remember the reports on Dexter Manley's intelligence back mm -hmm. in the day, mm -hmm. he's not a very wise guy. Did you guy. see the clip? We I don't have it, clip. but it's very sad. It's it's like I what are a black you doing, quarterback dude? run because they used to run it from the police. <laughs> <laughs> That white dude was like, oh. Yeah, he did. He was like, what? Am I supposed to laugh at that? No, that you're right. fucked up, man. Next to Manly, you a dumb motherfucker for saying some shit like that. Most of the black, to... He said, he, he said most of the black quarterbacks. They're from Africa. They run from tigers and lions and bears. Look. Yeah. It's no, not. It didn't come out. They said that shit on, on, on Archie Bunker back in the day too. Yeah, right. they used to say. Yeah, they used they to joke about to, that. Yeah. Used to do that shit. Archie Bunker was over yeah. the top. It's, it's, it's different. An Archie Bunker type. We all know him and can relate to him. Right. Mm -hmm. It was a character. But when you got a black Written. man who is saying whatever he think he can to fit in, it looks bad. Even white right. people be like, "Oh, you a fucking coon." <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. You're a fucking coon. <laughs> I mean, because the flip side statement can't be said without ridicule. Mm. The flip side statement is, say some shit like that about white people. You'll lose your job. Mm -hmm. Right? You, you'll lose your job. The flip side statement, and, and, and let's not flip it. Even, what's the, what's the girl that used to be on the Cosby show that's on The View now? What's her name? Raven. She says some dumb shit about Curse. black people names. And she always says dumb shit, but... But she she's black, but let shit. a white person and say that. And she got a lot of backlash. So yeah. you would think Dexter Manley would be aware of the sensitivity of the public that those kind of statements don't fly without people being offended. No, hmm. no. So I'm, at what point do you think, oh, it's it's perfectly okay to say some fucking dumb shit like that? He's been barred off a station before. Oh. Do you understand what I'm saying, though? Oh, wow. He's I, I dumb. Oh. 
The brother oh. is not intelligent. He's not trying to so do he, this shit. No, he he's, he's just a dumb oh, motherfucker. So you really think so, or was it, or was he's it been guy. barred off or another station? Or was it deliberate for, for making, publicity? He's been barred off another station for making shit like saying shit like that. Wow. Oh, okay. All so right, he's well. just stupid. He's dumb. Oh, okay. He's a dumb motherfucking coon. Good job. Wow. Which is the most yeah. embarrassing motherfucker in the world. Sorry. It's just like yeah. that. That uh, the Slim Jim commercials. Concussion. Oh, 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 when they see their Sasquatch, God. they put the, they hammer the dime into the ground. Look at him. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Throw a sewer top at him if they bust oh. him out. He a big, stupid. dumb Sasquatch. You know what I mean? That's what I mean. Yeah, he did look stupid. His presence. A in, moron. Right, a moron. Just a that mo shit you, no, not a moron. A moron. That oh, shit wow. you ain't heard in a long time. That's <laughs> the, you, you a fool. God damn <laughs> so the last thing You're I wanted to talk about that I found pretty interesting was, um, you remember the story that we covered with Matt Barnes and Derek Fisher? And Matt Barnes was just- That's my bitch! Wait, Wait. God, Jesus, man. Uh, warn us when you're gonna do that. It's got so much base. Well, the, the glass is cracked. They, they fogged up. Anyway, um, so- <laughs> <laughs> She so, got big zingers today. Stop. Uh-oh, what's that? Oh, yeah. Zingers, man. Um, anyway, he, they just suspend. They suspended him. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, uh huh. Oh boy. I swear on. Well, okay. What? Chris, if he calls one of us to try and pick up, I can't. My vision. My nine isn't on the phone. Oh God. You know what? Ooh, oh my. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Don't bend over again like that. Go ahead, that direction. Don't do it. She, look at Don't her. bend over again in that that direction, Corey. I saw your depend. Hey, you got that Bobby look. I saw your depend. You know how when Bobby be talking? <laughs> Don't bend over that way. I saw it peeking out. All right. Anyway, they suspended him for two games. Oh. Derek, uh, they suspended Matt Barnes. From oh, that. For his tweet? From that. No, no, no. This is before that. Oh, for, for the fight. For the fight. And then, so wait. So I'll put that together. Because remember we spoke about the fight. They just gave him right now a two-game suspension for that fight. So look, how he ended the year, he posted up, and you'll have to go on there to read all of it. But he um, Instagrammed a very lengthy message, uh, and he aired out all his business. He said, I'm going to end this year. Just get it off my chest. And he and he called Derek Fisher uh, a snitch. <laughs> so, but he didn't say his name. He just said into the snitches. He's clearing up everybody. So he basically hit on. He covered a uh, Derek Fisher incident. He covered be the the drama between him and Rihanna because Rihanna tried to claim that she didn't go out with him, and he was he's calling her a liar. He says that he has text messages and all that and stuff to prove and pictures. And also he put his uh, ex-wife in there, or his estranged wife, because they're still technically married, and that's the one who was with Derek Fisher. So he covered, if you go on his Instagram, it's very lengthy, but he basically calls... Oh, that's you, Corey. You know what he said? Instead of saying the name, he said, instead of in the in the uh, Instagram... Oh, Leon from the radio in Chicago. I'm oh. working, nigga. Anyway, uh, in the Instagram, he said, instead of taking that ass whooping like a man and kept it moving... Where do they do that at? I guess because I didn't snitch. I get a two-game suspension by the league. They call that life when it rains, it pours. And, if, and in, in 2015, all this played out like a bad reality show. So he gets, he talks about everything that he went through, and he's basically saying, I'm ready to start this new year off. I, you know, I take, I take responsibility for stuff that he's talking about. And he talks about his, his girl and his kids, but it was funny as hell because he brought up everybody, the Rihanna thing and the Derek thing, and he just said, man, that 2015 wasn't my year. But he he called him out, and he said he was a snitch. I want to <laughs> say this to um, to um, my man Matt Barnes. I like Matt. I don't know Matt Barnes. That, you I know, I, I never met him, but. He seemed like a nice guy. Yeah, I mean, shit. And, and, and this, is what I, I, this is what I do say about Matt Barnes that I have seen. This motherfucker got the heart of a lion. I ain't never seen this nigga back down from shit. Shit, you're right. No. You're right about that. Not one motherfucker. I remember I was watching this game, and um, it's this one dude, he in the NBA. He a tough motherfucker, so-called. Big motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie. It's the dude who played for Sacramento. Mm -hmm. The one his mm. cousin. When he got into it with Zach Red, though, I was like, oh, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? 
Y'all the same size, mm-hmm. or he might even be a little taller, but he didn't want it. Mm. He didn't want it, and you saw it. Right. And that don't mean you're not a man, right. but when you be on that Debo shit, but then it's another man that'll make you bag down, that make me be like you a bully. Right. Matt right. Barnes get into it with all kind of motherfuckers, but I ain't fuck. never seen it bag down. But I would say That's this true. on the OG side of the game, Matt. You cannot control where this pussy will be passed out at. Wow. You can't stop it. That's true. You can't stop it. So don't waste your time trying to. Mm -hmm. What you do is after you fuck, this is what I do. After you fuck a girl that you know (laughs) just got through fucking somebody else, you ask her, look, I'm going to need a comparison chart so I know why you don't answer your phone sometimes. Wow. Mm. Wow, whoa. You know what? When your girl fucking somebody else and she don't answer your call no more, that is a big red flag right there. What the fuck that nigga over there doing? (laughs) But if your girl fucking somebody else and she still (laughs) answer the phone, that means you saved. Oh, you, do, you ain't doing shit. You still answer the phone. Oh, oh, God. Oh, you over there with little dicky. <laughs> <laughs> you a little dicky Good wrestling. One. Live good. it up. Have fun. I'll see Good you. one. <laughs> yeah, good one. But that's, that's that's all I'm saying. All right. I, I got love for my nigga Matt Ball. Anyway. That nigga, I, I think he's good for um, Memphis because he on there with a whole bunch of tough guys. Yeah. And, and, and they're going to be all right in the playoffs. Yeah. Zach Randolph ain't getting no younger. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 my my homeboy Tony Allen, he ain't getting no younger. But that motherfucker play defense, right? But they got the heart of a lion. Coincidentally, I'm gonna be in Memphis. Hey Zach, I ain't talking shit. Don't run up on me, old. I ain't, you know, I ain't gonna lie. I, if Zach Randolph was trying to fight me, I'd talk that out. Hey, hey man, we black. <laughs> we black, man. We don't supposed to be out here on this shit. <laughs> Oh, God really? damn it, man. It's race love, brother. What man. about the kids right. watching this? Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the Marcus Cousins should have said. We black. Oh. Played it all. Oh, oh. That, that, that nigga was like. Oh. <laughs> he had the cower look. <laughs> oh, oh. That nigga Zach was right up on him. That nigga was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, that's you. Oh, yeah. Cower look. Oh, oh, oh. You know that look? Oh, oh. I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> Stop. That's Stupid. Up. And that's that on, is, is that on, is that on uh, that YouTube or something? Google that shit. <laughs> that shit go. is, because I know everybody who knows the break, Boogie gonna... Cousins to be a tough guy. When he got up on uh-huh. Zach. I'm about to look that up. Zach did have some big ass fists too. I mean, oh. He was like this. What motherfucker? That motherfucker was like, please. Please. <laughs> <laughs> please. <laughs> hey, nigga. Only fuck with niggas I know I can whoop. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I know it's getting late. So you know we know gotta talk about late. Oregon. Yeah, because I know it's getting late. So let's Oregon, on. yeah, man. Um you wanna break the ice? <laughs> oh god, go ahead, Zoe. Might as well, yeah. You already know. Uh, what nigga scared know. to speak on it? Mm-mm. What happened? What the militia thing? The militia, mm-hmm. white boys took over a government facility. Now, there's a provision in the Constitution that allows for militias to be formed, right? Uh, and they can be armed. They have rules to follow. They, you know, regulated heavily regulated and they took over a government facility now the way the media is covering it you know uh, it's peaceful we're going to have a peaceful resolution the FBI has been called in to work with uh, local uh, law enforcement to uh, bring about a peaceful resolution I thought they came out no right so this is you know I'm just Oh, you're giving the breakdown, yeah. Well, I'm just saying, man, um, over in Portland area. This is going on right now. I thought they got it. I thought they. If they were black, I would believe me that everything would. We have a live stream from the building right now. (laughs) Terrorists. They were terrorists. Taking over the government. Somehow somehow that building would have caught on fire while while they were in Uh, there. Waco. Well, remember, Waco was is white folk. Yeah, he was a white folk. And so was Ruby Ridge. Yeah, but uh, you know. I'll tell you what, it, it, it happened quick, didn't it? Right, no okay. question. 
Yeah. Bottom line, man, this is what people need to be aware of. And, you know, I don't have on a suit jacket. jacket. I might not get the due credibility for saying this, but I'm just saying, we are at war and we are being slaughtered. Mm, 100%. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's like when Caucasian people have issues with the law, it's not looked at the same way when black people have issues with the law. Right. Uh, these 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 memes that are out there on the internet basically saying, you know, uh, Bill Cosby got charged with rape for allegations. Right. But on video, we saw what happened with that kid getting shot by the police, and mm-hmm. they beat it. Right. There there is no law. It's only Caucasian people putting their foot on your head because they basically want war. So they can justify doing what they have planned in the very near future. And it's mm. going to happen. Right. Because if you keep pushing somebody. It's getting bad. Yeah, something's going to snap. They're going to push back. Somebody's going to push back. And they're they going to be like, oh, they, yeah. it's, it's, that's what they want. So all you motherfuckers who are out there voting and doing everything within the system to try to find a solution, you wasting your time. Prepare right. your exit strategy because this shit don't jump off. Mm-hmm. I mean. <laughs> It's going to happen when 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 people can invade a government building mm-hmm. and they work it out with them instead of slaughtering right. everybody who got something to do with it. Now Montel, remember the the, the television show host Montel? Yeah, the cool Montel Williams. He came out and said the federal government should go in and shoot and kill all of them. That's what he said. But he's a coon uh, he but, probably but doesn't if, even realize that he's still black but if you take what he's saying he's saying wait a minute y'all can just take over a government facility and like you said the government is going to try and negotiate with yeah, you Yeah, really hmm. you're armed so montel being a military person is saying you're armed you took over a government facility that warrants a response with force now mm. Back to Freeze Love's point. If it were black, if it were brown, yellow, not only, yellow, red, red well, not only would the cameras be there, you know. but so would the motherfucking guns. Mm. Exactly. And so would the and violence. That's what I don't even have to say if, because it's already happened. Too many when times. Black yeah. people had arms, and they went to a government facility with those arms. Mm-hmm. They made it illegal to be a member of that group that did that, mm-hmm. known as the Black Panthers. That's what that's what everything when the Black Panthers it became illegal to be a member of the Black Panthers. How about it? Was the Black Panthers a militia? Let's just under they, the definition of what that is. Mm. They, there were black men with arms in a uniform and showed up with heat, ex- expressing their right to bear arms. That's all it was doing. Under the Second Amendment. Under the Second mm-hmm. Amendment. So they said we can't so you could classify, throw you in jail for having these guns. So that's what I'm saying. You could classify the Black Panthers as a militia. Right. But look, check this mm. out. This is what I used to always tell my friend Bobby, Bobby Glanton Smith, because he used to say, "No, I no, know my right." No, no. <laughs> right. Okay. Go ahead. That's what I used to tell Bobby <laughs> when he say, "I know my rights." You. You they don't have play. no fucking rights. They disappear the moment that you get the, into the, the, Yeah, it's gone. The rights, think. the rules, all that they is written them. as it goes that's true. to stop you from ever rising up. You will never be treated fair in the United States of America as long as Caucasian people are in charge. If somebody wants to call me a racist for saying that, you go ahead. I'm just talking about what history has shown. So Caucasian people, people came here. Mm-hmm. They took this. They took mm-hmm. over mm-hmm. this this place called America. Right? Mm-hmm. Am I right? Right. Ever since they have been here, the only people who have been treated fair are who? Mm-hmm. Other Caucasians. Mm-hmm. Right. And so it's say, insane to go out that. and oh, vote. Oh, oh. You it's, can't even it, argue that. It's no insane way. to go out and participate in a system that is not intended for you. You Let me tell you something. What did you say? As long as whites are in charge. Guess what? In this country, that amount of time is dwindling and dwindling and dwindling. More, the, the, the so-called minorities are growing and growing and growing. By the year, 
where's this country gonna be by the year? T- what is it? Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought you had mm-hmm. a number I needed, nigga. Damn. <laughs> stop, stop. I nigga know what you're saying, Free. You know, by a certain yeah, yeah. year, there will not. Even right now in this state. Well, here's the thing, but in by this numbers. In the state of California, white people are not the dominant race. No, I know, but they're, they're not the dominant race around the world. Exactly. But what I'm saying is, you're dealing with, and I heard this mm-hmm. phrase from the brilliant brother, Minister Farrakhan. They are wickedly brilliant. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. They know that they're fading off. And they are programming people of other races that's that exactly self-hate what they're their race. Right. That's exactly they what are, they're doing. They are basically putting poison in the food you eat. What you taking in that you buy at the grocery store right. is poison. Right, the cheapest food. The cheaper food yeah. is the one that's readily available. You wonder why better. all of these people are, there are so many men and women who are, how could I say, well, just fuck it. We say coy, but gay, mm-hmm. because it's what you are ingesting inside of you. There was a listen. I don't I know. I saw that article. I was about to talk about estrogen in the Pepsi bottles. It's, estrogen it's in, the, plastic, in the soy. It's more than soy that. milk. That's why they say you don't eat a lot of soy. And nobody, nobody wants to say soy equals koi. You know what? It soy flat equals out. Koi. Say, soy equals koi. That's real. <laughs> you know what? That, soy equals moisture. <laughs> That Word. Your asshole get wet if you keep eating that shit. But look, Damn. Mm. this is what I'm saying. Nobody <laughs> wants to say this because it doesn't sound right. Right. And I want to like say, it right. I want to say this, I, and I always <laughs> say this. I am one who will embrace anybody who embraces uh, morality. It, I don't care what race you are. If you are one who embraces moral, embraces morality and the human family is important to you, then I embrace you. Mm. But what I'm saying is I am smart enough to watch who's in charge of what's happening in Mm -hmm. the world Mm -hmm. and watch how they are basically trying to run this planet into the ground. Mm -hmm. They are human haters. See, now what we got to do is get away from white black because that's part of the construct. Mm. What do you mean when you say white, black, Zoe? You, you just said it expertly when you said they're recruiting people of other race races to self-hate and buy into the system of control that they have. Right. Now, what we fuck with is racism. But what they're operating under is classism. Mm-hmm. It's different. Mm-hmm. Racism got us arguing back and forth. Mm-hmm. Just, I mean, if you do any research on Tim Wise, the white man who educates other white people on white privilege, right? He explains to them, like, first off, you got more in common with these black brothers over here than you do with the wealthy white people. You only identify exactly. with the wealthy white people because of your skin color. But if you look at your socioeconomic condition, mm-hmm. you got more in common with the brother than you do with them. And if you were to unite with the brothers, y'all could overthrow them. Mm-hmm. So he's educating right. white people on that level. Ain't no Racism the fucking... is the trick. Mm-hmm. Classism is the real hustle. Yeah. Right. And they are recruiting people from all over the mm-hmm. world, all over the world different get... races, mm-hmm. to keep this shit going. If you think you're paid, if you don't have a plaza named after your family, shut the fuck up. That old up. money, yeah. You know it ain't, yeah. A plaza. <laughs> Say it again. A plaza. Rockefeller Plaza. I like it. You understand? If you DuPont, if your name isn't that... You're not rich. Mm-hmm. There's no way you, we. You're, I, I, you're I, rich, but you're not wealthy. I should say. What we need to do, in my opinion, because people always, when you when you come up with all of these scenarios that's going on, people want a solution. People will say, "Well, what should we do?" Because they're waiting to be led out of the bullshit situation we're in. Mm-hmm. I want to say this, man. I think in every neighborhood, especially with black people. There needs to be classes formed that are not, I'm not talking about necessarily in schools. I'm talking about community centers, YMCA. Mm -hmm. Everybody should have to take a class on who you are, where you come from, and Mm -hmm. how you got here. Because then people can make better choices about what they're going to do and who they're going to be Mm -hmm. when they know who they are. Right. Black people in the United States of America, 
in my opinion, don't realize you've never been healed from slavery because what happened is some traumatic shit for the mind. Mm -hmm. You've never been healed from slavery, and most of us have no idea who we are, Agreed. especially right. this right. new this 100%. new generation of black people 100%. who basically will tell you something is wrong with you right. for being aware of what right. Caucasian people do. And well, they'll it. act like, why are right. you doing that? Right. You right. Don't, see, you, I ain't with all that. I'm Get just with not, the I'm program. Like, no, it's not about what you right. with. Right. right. You need to know what's happening to you and where you come from. And right. at the same time, right. those, no, those, and at the same time, the younger generation of the Caucasian kids. They, they have a sense of kind of what happened. They don't know. So can you imagine if they actually were to see what really went down? They might go, oh, you know Well, like I say, we brought this up on other episodes. You They're trying it. to change the way it is it is put in history as mm, if black right. people came over here as workers. It's watered down. So when they it's see not, that. They're, not, they're not trying to tell the truth. Right. Mm -hmm. They're trying to take the truth out right. of the mind of the youth so that your kids' kids basically... Mm -hmm are hearing rumors instead of the facts. And myths. Yeah, they, and think, that, they, think, the all, yeah. they think the pilgrims and that little exchange is an exchange that happened with the Indians. That's the how pilgrims. I was taught in grammar school. Right. I never, see, see, when you they came together and shared few, things. Yes. No. They showed, showed them how to use <laughs> guns and everything. Is that right? I know hmm. we, we haven't taken a break. We got to take a break to get our commercials in so we can um, speak up on the shit we hustle. But... Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, we're going to take a break and we'll come back and we'll talk about this shit because, listen, man, I just hate to see lost people standing on shit that was taught to them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't even know. Or somebody to give a fuck about it. Force fed. Like, mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. this is, you know what I'm this saying? This is the line we're going to go with. And the number one fucking myth that I just really am bold enough to say it is this Christianity shit. Mm. I just cannot believe how somebody can stand on some shit they heard about from the motherfuckers that brought you over here in boats. Mm, mm, I can't mm. believe it's still working. Once your mind reaches a certain level, it seems like you'll be like, hey. That shit don't add up. Right. <laughs> that don't sound right. This one dude had this shit on his shit. It ain't no dates in this motherfucking oh. book. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> it ain't no dates. That right there? Mm -hmm. Ain't no dates. When I did like this that. shit happen? When did this shit go down? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it's like, and, and here's the here's the other thing. Nobody, this is the 800, 900 pound uh, gorilla in the room, elephant in the room. Nobody wants to talk about regarding the Bible, the Quran, uh, the Torah, all these books. The same people who run your governments are the same people who wrote them books. Mm. And people, there are people who just don't want to embrace don't wanna, that. They don't want to embrace that, that kind of I mean, we can come back to that point. Let's come back to that point. We're going to take yeah. a break, yeah. and we're going to talk about the shit you stand on, where you get that info from. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell you. All right, 51, 50 first show of the new year, motherfucker. We're going to do a commercial, and we'll be back. You. <laughs> Did we leave yet, motherfucker? <laughs> You okay. bitch! You bitch! <laughs> 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 Hey, stop looking at my ass elbows and go to the website and hook me up and buy some motherfucker. Oh, I almost fucked myself up, man. Hey, stop looking at my ass elbows and go to the website and hook me up and buy some motherfucker. Oh. Well, I almost
ready for the action, homie. In the beat, I'm rapping on it. Crap the for the cheese, I'm trying to see yes. macaroni. Even a hundred things couldn't steal my fucking moments. Catch me on the tallest building, screaming like, who want it? Who want it with us? My nigga, men and man, they ready to bust. Put the toy to your head like a woman's brush. Shit. But that'll be stupid for the moment. Walk up in the building, shooting cockroaches like Tony. You can get it any day, I am on it. And we grind every day. Ain't no telling where we go. And we all live for the moment. right now five years from right now i'ma keep shining like a lighthouse and if i ever get wiped out my flow will live on forever because i know it's so nice now and i know you probably pissed right now but that only means you are hating and you on your job right now i can care less what a hater wrote or what's a hater's quotes just keep it moving man and let it go i am down to do the latest shows and rock the latest clothes I'm about my paper, I thought I'd let you know Just give me your mic and I swear I'll let it blow On stage in front of a crowd but not just for the dope I love it because our name is Buzzin' What well, else who made it to the top? End the discussion And in that moment I can get take it all of my cousins My little son, my little brother, my baby mama It'll put a smile up on my face cause we made it out the struggle And you know my hustle, it comes straight from the muscle, muscle. And we all live for the moment. I just wanna do what I love to shine on my opponent. My starlight will shine bright in any weather. And I wanna do this shit forever and ever. Yeah. You don't come in my house, baby, but you gotta take off your shoes. I'ma make you take off your shoes. I'ma make you take off your shoes. Uh -huh. You can come up in my house. You can come in my house, baby, but you gotta take off your shoes. Uh-huh, look. Now check them red bottoms at the door. Uh -huh. And what four purple hot wood floors? Yeah. And that's enough to get a panties wet and even more. Uh -huh. The Allure, the chandelier decor. The couture fly shit that I wore. Yeah. I'm smoothing at LL Cool in 94. Baby, just sit back, chill, and light the roar. We ain't blow 100 racks shopping and want a tour. Oh, a little boss talk for the player made. And a little more salt for your hater yeah, raid. Crops on the docks, her man's gator made. Fade by the year, boss, and play the blade. And if I'm lying, then I'm frying like any mate. And when you done with them herbs, I'm at the Mandalay. I woke up this morning feeling like the man today. Let's hit the dance floor, step this whole jam away. I'ma make you take off your shoes. I'ma make you take off your shoes. And the only girl, the only girl in my world, in my world will be you. Will be you, mommy. Will be you, mommy. Look. Tonight is pasta with the mobsters. Yeah. And none of my bitches ain't no imposters. Uh -uh. Shutting down all rosters. Come through with that fat ass clapping it like choppers. Blah. My school niggas to the lineup. Line up. Everything fair game. Yeah. Talk to a model real greasy like Sweeney. I fast break and pull up, baby. It's on feed. On feed. In other words, water. Shades on in the nighttime. It's a slaughter. Killing them. Getting hoes while the landslide. They want to kick it with your man, right? right. So I'ma let her join the team. Back a pretty young thing, ass all mean. I think I seen this in my dream. Ended with an Aston Martin in the rain. One chance to make a dream come true with you. I'ma make you take off your shoes. I'ma make you take off your shoes. And the only girl, the only girl. But you gotta take off your shoes. I'ma make you take off your shoes. I'ma make you take off your shoes. You can come up in my house. You can come in my house. But you gotta take off your shoes. Uh -huh. you gotta respect that. Yeah, yeah. Arizona Fetty. X. Can you make something clear, Taji? What you need, True? Niggas think we do this shit for them. Uh huh. I know. Uh -huh. We do this shit for self right now. Get better and better, you know. Yeah, tell them niggas, man. Yeah, nothing about stunting. Yeah, I know. 
Shit. Explain to these motherfuckers. I got you. Never been a stunner, but I'm stone cold with it. Rock the ball, cause I'm walking tall, way beyond safe, except flows and all. Rocking to the moon without Houston. Never been a problem, needs to solve them. Nigga, I count on me. One, two, three, then I flee scene. Scene blue and red, I respect the dead, but the living gets me head. Never said, fuck the feds, almost caught a slipping. Wow. Those niggas out there tipping, we ain't fucking tripping. Never. We ain't babysitting, who you kidding? Them rats love the cheese on a trap. They it's a easy rap, the man's a cat until he took two Three times and I'm black and jack Leave them lines flat, casino life, how I hit them banks Jackpot, hot nigga, ain't no money dance Love how she prance, listen to them jeans Gut deep, now I'm from France Cause she love the way it lit, yeah. That was light I know Yeah, that was really light, that's all you got, bruh? It's just the beginning, bruh Okay, okay <laughs> yeah, I got you. That nigga Leon off the radio in Chicago gave me a call. Always happy to hear from you, Leon. Leon, one of the comics who wound up getting a job at the radio station. Mm-hmm. And uh, he holding it down, him and Tony Schofield. Tony Schofield. All my Chicago comedian brothers, I miss y'all niggas, man. I, be, I, I was in town this weekend. It's just I don't hang out like I used to. I'm old enough. Uh, Tony Schofield got something I think he do on a Sunday. Um, I started to just pop down now and there, but I, I got sleepy because I'm an old nigga. But I'm a, <laughs> Tony, next time I'm in town, I'm going to pop down. I be wanting to pop up at the rooms. That's what we call them. You yeah. know what I mean, Freeze? Mm-hmm. The little spots niggas do. Because that's where you can really get your work out on. Hell yeah, because I remember, I never forget when I was in New York. And uh, I forgot the name of that room, but it was all Jamaican homies, man. Did Fuck I tell that story? Yeah. <laughs> man, them niggas, they, they don't want to hear that bullshit. But if they like you, they show you real love. Mm. Yeah. Them That's motherfuckers, them Jamaican dudes, they were looking like, who was this motherfucker? But I represented on stage, yeah. man. Them motherfuckers yelling out some shit. Hey, y'all big money. Yo, I thought they was money. booing me, but they was like, no, they like you. They like you. Uh, they were saying start, some shit. Start throwing dubs boom, at boom. You. Some shit they was doing. Right, no. niggas had a lot of soup for sale in that motherfucker. We have a goat foot soup. Goat foot soup. <laughs> we have a fish back soup. Fish back. Yeah. The back of the fish, The nigga. back of the fish is the strongest part of the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all want real nerd It's the only real part. The yeah. back of the fish. Little bones in the back, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, man, so <laughs> before we left this motherfucker, we was trying to educate people on what's happening in the world. The war is not waiting to begin. The war has begun. You are not trying to fight in the war against the beast because you know they command weapons of mass destruction, even though they blame other people for having Weapons of mass destruction. Right. They are the originators of weapons of mass destruction. They sit around and think of ways to conquer. So all that bullshit yeah. they was talking about in the early 2000s about this man got weapons of mass destruction. If they feel like he got weapons of mass destruction, it's just because they sold it to him. Mm. They're not making weapons of mass destruction in the desert. They buying their guns from... The original gun toting motherfucker. <laughs> How do you know they have weapons of mass destruction? We have the receipt. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we have the little two week no, right two week check. Yeah. Background check. Right. I mean, the shit is crazy when you when you're looking at it. I, I always say police, police, they're trained to police stereotypes. Mm-hmm. They don't police people, they police stereotypes. This is why our leaders, black leaders, will say, dress a certain way so you won't look like the stereotype that gets policed. Oh, like when they got on They used to hose down niggas in suits who was marching asking for okay. freedom. That's my point. <laughs> it, it don't matter what you got on. Mm-hmm. You know? But the only thing that matters is your skin color because they know if they shoot you and you black that they will beat the case. Right. Bottom line. Right. And well, the promotion and a weekend in Alcapuco. Right. <laughs> and the crazy thing is, 
<laughs> most of those, and I know the Black Lives Matter or, mm. or the people that were protesting down in Ferguson, people were un- unarmed. Right. Unarmed and but got tear gas. Tear gas, mm. which is supposed to be illegal. Kids were gonna get uh, yeah. You know, these the police officers were armed. They had militarized uh, tanks and shit. You right. know, the National Guard is always called. National Guard was right that. here in L.A. They had all that. National Guard was on Crenshaw, baby. Where's the National Guard right now, with regards to the Oregon standoff? Where's the National Guard right now? Where? These are these are our guys. It's okay. We got it. Look, 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 Bill. <laughs> Ted, you want a piece of the pie? Get this guy a job. What are you guys over here trying to pull? Put away (laughs) that weapon. Right. (laughs) Aren't you make it look good? (laughs) Aren't you Mary's boy? (laughs) Right. I know your ma. (laughs) Right. Your ma. But that's right. That nigga said your ma. <laughs> your ma. I know your ma. That's you're crazy, Bill though. Parsons' boy. Bill Parsons. <laughs> but that's crazy. I mean, yeah. I see the white guys as patriots and a lawful assembly, you know, even though they're armed. But when we try to do the same thing, mm. it's, you know. And, and let Terrorists. Me, but let me just say this. We got to acknowledge the part of our community who... who who are out there in the front lines? That's looking, right, trying and doing something. Right, looking to loot and burn some shit. Oh, those. Oh, I th- okay. Got to acknowledge them too. But guess what? The majority of people out there are protesting for the right reasons, but they still get harassed by the police. They still get attacked by the police. They still get, you know, framed in the media as thugs, mm-hmm. and that ain't always the case. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying. It's like. Uh, you're safer where there's white people protesting with you. You need to call How all your it? so-called white friends and say, we need you as a wall so they won't just start shooting into the crowd. We well, need- gee, Raheem, I would, will. but I got to return a library book. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the family Christmas shopping. I can't wow. be seen on this. Well, Shaquita, I've known you for years. No, come Shaquita. on. Darlene just say some real shit. Shaquita. What do they really say? Uh-oh. What you just said. I can't be seen. You mean say yeah? You said all we use is protection. No, they they they. I can't be seen excuses. with you niggers. I mean, you know. They, we got us on camera. Hey, I'll, look, I'll, I'll buy you a pot roast for the family for the mm-hmm. weekend. But listen, we I can't be out there games. with you guys. We right. had a few good games. Let's leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> right. You're asking for way too much. <laughs> Your jumper is killer, <laughs> but come on. Oh right. go! <laughs> We're not really friends. Right. I mean, Jesus. I like. We we were right. I like to dab mm-hmm. with you guys, but hey, hey, come on, guys. When it really boils down to it, you're a fucking savage. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I know it. I know you are. Right. No, but some people just aren't aware of how scary it can get for, like we said, even just the lower class. And a perfect example to me is, whether it's it's true or not, but the way it even looks, is that um, that new series that they have on Netflix called Making a Murder. I saw it, of course, within two days. I saw the, all ten episodes. But anyway, it's their new series, and it's a documentary following this... Um, a uh, Caucasian fella, his family was hated in the city. They're so-called trash compared to the other people in the city that were higher up, right? Because of their e- economic and their background. They were more oaky, you know what I'm saying, folks, than the other. They didn't and they blend in. frame like- the shit. They hate the, they, they've always given that family a hard time. If you've watched that show, it's incredible to see what they did to him. How many black unarmed teenagers have been shot down not mm-hmm. even teenagers black unarmed kids have been murdered by the police in 2015 i think yeah. that number like needs to be out there something like that somebody put that put that stat out it's ridiculous towards when the you when year. you tell me something like, like that mm-hmm. i do not have to fit in with whoever expects me to fit in with them right all of a sudden i step on the side that i'm supposed to be on because that's how i'm cut you can't slaughter my people and expect me to just, well, come on, guys. Let's just be cool and talk it out. No, I know what that means. Oh, y'all on that bullshit. And you've been on the bullshit. Mm, and yeah. these motherfucking files, like they say, it's on the internet. It'll always be part of history. 766 people killed by police. What is it? 766. In 2015? Yeah. Black? 700. Uh, I think it's more than that. Somebody. 161 of them were unarmed. Now, how about homeboy so you that saying was... there were over 500 armed kids that were killed by the police? Well, that they say. No. Because I'm just saying, I'm from the motherfucking streets enough to know that people don't shoot at the police. 
Every once in a while, right. a motherfucker shoot at the police. Like yesterday, that like, couple. Name, or that guy. Crazy. That right. guy that was running on the freeway yesterday. And he was, was he Armenian? And they ended up shooting him in the, he didn't die. How's it, he's running and he's shooting at the cops and he did all that dirt in L.A. If you look it up. He's not black enough to kill. And they literally were having a shootout with him. He's running down the freeway <laughs> after a crash. They were chasing him and he crashed. And they, somehow he's alive. Well, and he was know. shooting at them. Yeah, his his street his street view gonna be low from the rest of his life, but I'm just saying because he got caught <laughs> by them beast. But I'm saying, look, I know from the last segment there's gonna be a lot of Christians who are upset with me, and I don't want uh, you to uh. be upset with me. I don't. I want you to reason with me one day, because bottom line, you cannot justify the shit you standing on. <laughs> If you can, come holler at me and justify what you're talking about, especially my my black Christians in America. Most of you. Now, this is this is me. What is what do they call it when you call us a whole group of people? This might be racism. What I'm doing. I'm profiling, discriminating. I'm discriminating against black Christians. OK, here we go. Most of you have not read that book that you started on. And you're making a general I'm just saying, Accusation most of you, this is my opinion, most people who go to church <laughs> have not read the book oh. that they hold up <laughs> as a weapon against you. Mm -hmm. What is that? Somebody said, Jesus hates Corey. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. No, you're when right, you though. quiz people on this book, you're right. most of them only know the shit they remember that was told to them. They don't remember the shit they read. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They, they definitely not living it. They, they haven't opened the book it. and read it from woo woo woo. Mm -hmm. Now he's 100 percent right. Some you, people, some people will sit here and go, Corey don't know what the fuck he's talking about, right? You know, you know how our people are. We 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 crush, we question and we ridicule the source if it's coming from a black mouth. But if it's coming from a white mouth, we at least Give it the benefit of the doubt. Corey is saying some real shit, and if you don't back it up with some type of white source, right. black people be like, Corey don't know what the fuck he's talking about. If you've never studied the Bible and you are over 30 years old, but you stand on the Bible, you are, you are like, you, you anti-Bible. Hmm. Does that make sense? Wow. Yeah, it makes sense. No, that it makes 100%. Make sense. You're anti-Bible if you're no. standing on this thing and you have not even put the time and effort into what it takes to know what you're standing on. There's a book out there right now. Go get it. It's called Religious Literacy by Stephen or Stephen Prothero. Religious Literacy. And he says the exact fucking same thing that Corey says. He says, America is the most religiously diverse country in the world, yet the most religiously illiterate country mm. in the world. Mm, 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 most mm. Christians don't know shit about Islam. They don't know shit about Buddhism. They don't know nothing about Hinduism. They don't and know nothing about Christianity. And then he says when you question them about their belief system, they don't know shit about that. Mm -hmm. Go get the book, right. Religious Literacy. I can't mm. point you out. I don't know who you are by seeing you, but... If you are the type of person who talks to people about this fucking Christianity shit and you've never studied it, I ain't even say read the book. I'm talking about study it. If you're yeah. standing on this shit, you need to know what the fuck you're standing on. Right. How in the, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're just a <laughs> bunch of singing, cackling, oh. after church eating chicken niggas. Oh my God. Tell me if I'm wrong, man. If I'm wrong, I, I could be, I, I could, I could be checked. But cackling. the church I went to cack, cack, was cackling. a whole bunch of singing, um, gay choir director having ass. Man, I once I got a certain age, I realized. I told my mama, I said, "Mama, I can't hang around them weird old motherfuckers." And my mama was like, oh. <laughs> Those are church folks. I was like, Bubba, them are the fakest motherfuckers I've ever seen in my life. But, but you know what? It applies <laughs> to most religions, too, though. That's it's true. not just Christianity. Christianity might be the most egregious. Right. Well, that's the one that because hits me the hardest because I was brought up on that. Yeah, this right. is where that's we were brought one, up. Yeah. But Islam is the same way. Mm -hmm. Do some research on Islam, too. 
It, it, it's yeah, got it. Judaism. Judaism. Every one. They've all got their lies. Mm -hmm. They've all got their manipulation. Now, but if you they all got their liars yeah. and their manipulators. Now, are you specifically yeah. talking, yeah. Uh, Corey, to those folks that are putting pressure or judging or preaching to you? Like, which folks are you talking about? What about the folks that might I'm not know the Bible, but they but they get some kind of uh, uh, solace or some kind of comfort when they go to churches? You're talking about the people that are very uh, aggressive towards you and, and you preaching they get it some type of solace or comfort when they go to church listen let me tell you something no the people that aren't that so you're not talking to just everybody uh, do you this, give them I, I can be i can be clear who okay. i'm talking to it doesn't matter if you get solace or comfort from going to church if you are at church half stepping god damn it mm -hmm. you are who i'm talking about because if you're 30 years old and you've been a Christian because motherfuckers are quick to bring that shit up. I'm a Christian. Or no, wait, worse than that, I go to church. What the fuck? If you don't know that Bible, mm. I even give you the age forty. Fuck it, you can bullshit your whole motherfucking life halfway mm. over. And you don't know that Bible like a book, like you study this shit, like a textbook. Right? Mm. What the fuck are you doing? Do you even know what you're there? Because yeah, you're it's here. just like them dumb, them them dumb heifers mm. who was talking shit about me mm -hmm. in the mall, mm -hmm. who was, can't, you know, trying to get you to vote. They woke up to you. This is why Barack was running. Mm -hmm. Are you registered to vote? I said, Oh, I don't vote. They all paused like, like I was a wrong fucking with you. villain. Right. Like I'm the reason the country fucked up. <laughs> right. And they was trying to school me on how bad I'm fucking up by voting. Mm. But I'm going to tell you this. By not. By voting. not, yeah. Uh -huh. I'm gonna tell you, but yeah, by not mm. voting. Y'all got your man in office. I don't remember it ever being this bad since I've been alive on what's happening to black people in the streets. Mm. And your man is in office. Yeah. Ugh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. The fuck you got to say? You got your man. Y'all put him on pictures with Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, motherfuckers who was really in the street marching, doing some real shit. This motherfucker ain't took up for nobody but homosexuals. And you can get mad if I say it. Mm -mm -mm. That's what the fuck he stand on. God damn it. If you say you homosexual, you can come to the White House and get a, a, get, get some chicken. <laughs> and get some chicken? Get some chicken. <laughs> or Frank's. Right. <laughs> All you got to do is say, I'm gay. They going to invite you to the White House Come for, on down for, here. for a meal. Let's check you out. God but, damn it. But if you but, say I'm black and I'm proud, the motherfucker going to blackball your ass. But you're saying something revolutionary. Because mm. now the question, com the question comes forth. If you study the, all of the religious books, all of the religious texts, like a textbook, mm. do you now then need a preacher? No, you don't. Oh, so they lo they want the dumb down to uh, crew you see, coming. Check yeah. this real shit out, Zoe. Yeah. If people actually studied what the fuck they are supposed to study, everybody couldn't be a preacher. Because mm. mm -hmm. that shit wouldn't fly. Because if a motherfucker out attractive. here speaking... He can't on say what? no side buster right. shit. Mm -hmm. You got to be right. on top right. of your shit if the people mm -hmm. on top of their shit. Mm -hmm. That's why... Preaching can be hustled. Exactly. See, because people want to be lazy. They don't want to read. They don't want to investigate. They don't want to. They don't want to discover the they answers. Want, nah, they, they want the answers delivered. Want to be lazy, and they'll pay for it. Wow. They want to hear that and good they'll shit. They'll call it tides while they pay for it. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. You think you could just pay to be righteous? Well, I went to church. I gave half my check. But did you mm -hmm. study? Did you study? You could have saved that money, baby, just by studying. If the if the people were educated, a lot of shit wouldn't be able to put, be pulled off on them. If the women were educated on how a man should conduct himself in their presence mm -hmm. and how a man should conduct himself as they are around each other, mm -hmm. half these niggas wouldn't be able to be around no woman of, of, of substance. But you know what? But you, you saying, man, that's just... I'm, I'm saying, like, the reason... The courts are full of cases with women who done put cases on men mm. is because we live in a society where the women have been dumbed down. So they will fuck a motherfucker who will go on the internet and talk about his situation with his woman. Mm. Right. Because mm. how in the fuck are you a man 
and you putting your business on the internet. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tweet that before you, bitch. Right. Mm -hmm. And I say this like if you mad at somebody, you trying to you trying to you trying to make them shame them, then okay, I see why you doing that shit. But these motherfuckers cuz I when, when D read that shit that she told me about what that man did, Tiger. Putting his business on the motherfucking white man's call sheet. <laughs> what happened? Well, I'm saying, D said, Oh, you talking about oh, you you talking about future. Future. I'm sorry, future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Tyke is a whole other story, but I'm he's sorry. in the, no, but he's in the I, news I too. No, but he's in the news too. I just didn't bring that story up. We want to hear that too on the moist side, but look. <laughs> it is. But why is this man putting his why would you do that? Right about the mother of his child mm -hmm. on the internet looking well, for help. And no matter how you see what I mean are, when I say right, that, looking right, for help, right. motherfucker. If I look, my daughter's mother. I'm glad my daughter is twenty something now. Mm -hmm. 21, 22. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. Kayla. Whatever age you is, I put you out here, so don't hold that against me. <laughs> you don't know. Mm -hmm. oh, my daughter, mother, <laughs> went out her way in every way to try to make my life difficult. But because she a bum ass bitch, the little child support money she was getting, that was money to her. Because she come from nothing. So she really started bagging off a little bit because she was getting a check. Mm. But $400 to some bitches is a lot of money. <laughs> it's mm. a lot of money, everybody. That's the only reason you I didn't have. I could get one. Right. <laughs> That's the reason I didn't have more Stop. drama out of her. No, he didn't. Because she was getting the amount of money that she thought was a lot of money <laughs> and used to brag on the shit. That's why you coming mm. up off them hundreds. Oh, that's right. My that? weave cost a cost a hundred dollars. Right. That's right. My nails cost fifty. And... It was a blessing I had a baby by a bum ass bitch when I was young. <laughs> Stop, so don't take him on. If I had a baby by a bitch who motherfucker wanted more out of life, <laughs> that right. bitch would have probably been after me on the investigation side of the game. And you're gonna get my car painted. That's right. right. That's right. My golf gonna be flawed. God damn it. My golf cart. My oh. golf. You gonna oh, you gonna pay this? You gonna pay this section eight? Oh God! Mm. Uh, oh. Better know it. You, you bum oh. ass bitch. Okay. That's right. We all going to Sizzler off of you. Oh. Right. I love Sizzler. That they bill gonna be eighty something dollars. Uh. Yeah. I ain't getting no motherfucking salad bar neither, nigga. All right. <laughs> Stop. We can't we can't blast each other out bro. on the internet and in the courthouse. They like to, that. They like seeing that. You we need to work is. amongst each other to fix shit. I could see somebody like going to the courthouse if they just fucking with somebody who don't give a fuck about them. Mm. Cause that's the only way you're gonna figure that out. Mm. But when you got somebody you been fucking with, you don't end the shit in the courthouse. Mm. I'm proud of my son, mother. I mean, not because she never took me to child support. It's just. Man, my son, mother is motherfucking. She got her doctorate and all that shit. That motherfucker wasn't no knucklehead motherfucker, and she married to a motherfucker that loved her dirty draw. <laughs> I ain't saying that to be funny. My mm. son, mother got a family. I was around them this weekend too. I was sitting in there with them, mm. cause it's solid. I got love for them people. I like her husband's father. Them. <laughs> That's how cool they are. Damn. I had a baby by a woman who about something and got people around her that's about something. But when I was a young man, I fucked with a lousy bitch who crazy than a motherfucker. This bitch had a baby she hid from the world because she was embarrassed. Man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll be looking at the bitch. I'm like, Maybe yeah. hide and go seek. Right. You know what? <laughs> we call him Cupboard. I met oh, my daughter cupboard. graduate. <laughs> right, Cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my daughter graduation. There's a little boy running around. I'm like, who is that? that cupboard. Like, hey, Corey. I'm Kayla, brother. I'm like, no, you not. Let little name. cupboard. My name cupboard. Right. Uh -uh. Little cubby hole. <laughs> That's baby break through the tide tubes. I'm strong. Right. <laughs> that bitch tried to tie them tubes. I was like, bitch, you ain't gonna hold me back. These two can't hold me back. Oh. These two can't hold me back. <laughs> Baby peekaboo. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Bumba clock. <laughs> Every time, look. Baby. And I hadn't seen the bitch in years. But that, well, look, I swear to God, man, when my daughter's mother saw me at that graduation, she ran and hid. 
He hid. <laughs> Basement, and left the baby. kid by himself. Right. No, she, baby she, Waldo. Oh, where's <laughs> Village Baby? <laughs> the baby <laughs> under the stairs. <laughs> Houdini the baby. Houdini baby. baby. <laughs> Houdini <laughs> baby. <laughs> She was ashamed she had another baby because I know her dude was that. <laughs> that bitch went in that pussy with some tweezers. It was like, I'm about to get this shit from oh. my dad. <laughs> <laughs> baby had to come through some motherfucking. If these tubes could talk, oh. I can see the rain. Fallopian oh, follies. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who said that? Chris Spice 1000. Just spice. Oh, there's no R. I can't. Okay, I'm focusing. Hey, man, it might seem like I'm hating, man, but this shit, it blew my mind. Because I was like, Kayla, why this little boy keep saying he your brother? Mm-mm. My daughter was like. Because he <laughs> is. <laughs> my mama told me don't tell nobody about him. Oh. <laughs> That's messed Baby up. Baby fade to black. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Baby Baby been lying. <laughs> I told you this bitch is crazy. He's a closet baby. <laughs> and the little boy seemed like a nice young man. I'm not talking shit about the little boy. I'm just saying this bitch. I I used to tell motherfuckers that bitch crazy. That baby he wanted had friends. Court. That bitch crazy. He ain't met a lot of people. How the fuck you got baby a baby bitches. and you hiding them from the world? <laughs> <laughs> I can see her telling my don't tell nobody I got a baby. <laughs> Now, if anybody asks you, your name is I don't know. Right. And he said, I don't know. <laughs> Flies in the face. No, but did you really <laughs> ask, who are you? Or did he say, hi, I'm so-and-so, her Ninja brother? Baby. Or did you no, ask? He kept, he kept talking to me. He was a little boy. So he was just there and there. Nobody introduced him. Well, you know, he, had, he, he knew he's you. a kid. So he watched Wild and Out and all like that. So, oh, he so he's like an older kid. Me. He's like nine or ten? Yeah, he's around about nine. Yeah, that's like old that. enough. Okay. Yeah, so... I'm like, why does little boy keep acting like he your brother? And Kayla just wasn't saying nothing. My daughter, oh, she was she just like. she stood in, uh-oh. So then when I got by myself, I was like, why you didn't tell me you had a brother? And I know, she, I, because I, I was shocked. I, I was like, you my daughter. Why would you keep that from me? But she was like, my mama said don't tell All those fight. years, she never said that's, that's <laughs> like. I know her mama is crazy. <laughs> but you they, come from shit like that. You know about a mama that's crazy, oh, right? Oh, hell yeah, but I wouldn't fall for no shit like that if Rosie said, don't do that. I'd be like, F you. You Somebody crazy? Said, I'm coming out of this. <laughs> Baby <laughs> Hoffa. Oh. Baby, Baby Hoffa. Hoffa. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the Baby never was. Wow, man. No, man, this shit was crazy. That's Baby. terrible. Baby. <laughs> right. I'm finding all this out in my daughter's college graduation. This is a little, little nigga running around here that I ain't heard about. <laughs> oh, God. My daughter didn't tell me. Baby, what? what? <laughs> the chat room is amazing. You guys should always join the, the chat room. The baby formerly yeah. known as. Wow. Mystery mm-hmm. baby. Not mystery. Baby, baby Machiavelli. Machiavelli. God, Jesus. And that ain't nothing. Baby that... be gone. Oh, no, stop. Doorbell Crawl baby. out, boy. <laughs> First 48 babies? Damn. First 48 babies? Little nigga nunchucks. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> These are all the same people on that 5150 group, Facebook group. I love it. You ever open that up? I ain't, I ain't even up on it yet. I, yeah. I'm going to peep it one day. But yeah, all right. I, well, anyway, God damn it. I'm not sure Terrible. what week it's going to be, but one day y'all going to cut on this show, and it'll probably be this month, and it's going to be a whole new studio. Uh-huh. Get down. Because, God damn it, that landlord waiting on me to walk up out of here. Cody, let me tell you. <laughs> you got to pay or get the fuck out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> womb Raider. They call that little nigga Womb Raider. Baby Moses. Baby back rib. Rent a little nigga. Rent a little nigga. <laughs> Ghostface baby. Ah! <laughs> Malaysian Airlines. Baby. Oh, oh, that's not right. Baby X nigga. Malaysian yeah. Airline baby. Come on. Nice young man though. Look, look he was well spoken. Yeah. I'm not talking about the kid. I'm just saying the mama do Baby weird no. shit. Oh, that's messed up. What'd it say? Baby, no future. Baby, no future. Oh, that's fucked up. He's got a future, goddammit. <laughs> Fuck y'all, y'all. Exactly. Going in on my corn dog outfit, nigga. Baby X. Oh, he's just. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Least baby. CSI, anyway. baby. Cracker Jack, baby. <laughs> baby, rent <them> spoons. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Cosby Peel, baby. Oh, 
baby graveyard. Oh. Casper kid. Oh. <laughs> all right. Okay, all right. Good. All right. Because it's getting late. All right. So check it out. Chuckles out there. <laughs> Memphis, Tennessee. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm in town. Y'all fuck with me. Uh, Memphis, goddammit. Uh, you know I'd be happy to see y'all motherfucking ass. Uh, it ain't that cold in Memphis, I hope. Mm, I don't know. It's been kind of strange in a lot of places around this country. Where it's supposed to be freezing, it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? At Look. a certain time. And now, and we're, yeah. El and Nino. Here, El Nino's hit here, you know, and it's going to last for a week. The, my people in New York was hitting me. This now. Day. They said it dropped from like. 50-something to 14. Boom, yeah, just what, like that. That's what see? Chris said when he left Philly. It was yeah. 16, goddammit. They said his breath will freeze and fall and hit the ground like oh, a God. rock. Oh, and God. just keep and on go falling. right to hell. <laughs> right, straight through the sewer. Right. In China, a rock going to come out the ground. <laughs> on the Godzilla side of the game. Right. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> All right. First off, let's acknowledge um, the passing of the elder and now ancestor, Dr. Francis Cress Welsing. Got to give her her love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sister wrote, she wrote the ISIS papers. Uh, oh. Very, very powerful sister. Um, and, and she passed away. She had a stroke. She was in her oh. 80s or was 80. Mm. You know, she means the world to the black community. She did a lot of work on the white supremacist system and, you know, the mentality and the psychology and the pathology of white folk. Mm. She made all of that shit clear. And, uh, we have to give her, her her just due and her respect, as well as Sister Natalie Cole yeah. passed away. So we have to acknowledge those people. Unforgettable. Uh -oh. That's what you were to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You going to make up a song, Nick? <laughs> Baby disappearable. Oh, God. How did you come to me? <laughs> <laughs> Baby regrettable. <laughs> Baby regrettable. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> now he's you lousy weird. bitch. You know who you are, you <laughs> lousy bitch. <laughs> Scared the motherfucker walk up on the nigga, goddammit, talk all that shit. I remember she put this shit out about me having a disease, me and my wife. I'm sorry, they got diseases and all like that. That's what the bitch did. I knew what nobody did that for her. I was like, oh, that's that. Saying you got a disease yeah, while say, she treating the baby like he got leprosy. Right. How about that? Ain't that something? God damn it. Oh, God. That's so Don't come out the basement, baby. <sighs> An untouchable. <laughs> baby untouchable. Oh. Negro oh. Potter, baby. <laughs> oh. Bless you. you all right? Darlene and this bitch was SARS. I just took a mint gum. It, it makes me do that. Sorry. Mint make you do that? Yeah, when it hits my swine, swine flu. No. <laughs> anyway. Oh, wow. Uh, hide and go seek, baby. Well, anyway, this is a new year. I'm glad I made it. To all of the people who yeah. are pissed off, mm -mm. like, for example, I make jokes about poets owing me money or stealing money from me. Oh, mm -hmm. shit. I thought we was going to make it out of this show without yeah. it. No, Can't I'm just start saying, it's like, I, 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 as I have found out, people get mad because I talk shit about poetess. But I, I will put this on something. If I, if poetess didn't steal the money, poetess should be able to come at me for slander. But if she do that, I'm going to press criminal charges. <laughs> I'm going to go to child support. I'm going to go to money support. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Cause you so you've check. been getting some backlash? YouTube don't give out cash. They give you checks. There's a record of what has been taken. So I stand on what I'm saying. I'm saying like, I, I get it. Somebody might be a friend of yours or something like that or somebody you care about. But you can't make what they did right or act like they didn't do it. If I'm talking shit about it, I, I'm telling you, it's true. Mm -hmm. It's true. I stand on it. There you go. And if I'm wrong, um, you can't slander people like that. That's true. So, everybody who mad at me for speaking <clears throat> on what happened to me, fuck you, motherfucker, because <laughs> I didn't do nothing to you either. That's Moist true. nigga. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, here Whoever we go. Whoever the fuck you are, what the fuck could I do? That's true, yeah. Shit, I ain't did shit to you, so fuck you. The sissy mayor. 
I just want to let you know that in- incident is over, and I don't give a fuck about you. <laughs> I ain't thinking about you. If I see you, I'm going to act like I don't see you and keep walking. <laughs> Cause I don't want no bullshit. Yeah, we start a new year off fresh. Yeah. New fresh. year. Stephen A. Smith, as long as you cooning and talking shit about black people, I'm gonna talk shit about you. <laughs> Ain't nothing we can do about that. You mean Rob Bass? That meme was right. the best that, one. That Rob Bass meme? He looked just like that Rob Bass. Yeah. Yeah. Did yeah. Gooch put that Rob Bass meme no, out there? No, I don't there? know who this right. is. It's funny. Because it Gooch will hit you with 10, 20 memes and they be funny. But see, think <sighs> about motherfuckers like Gooch the Great. He don't give a fuck. He don't give. He ain't finna apologize fuck. about shit. Right. <laughs> and he has his picture on there, okay? He Unlike all these other people there. that have a little Say egg. Say that again, D. And he has his picture on there and says who he is, not a little egg or a, fa- a phony picture of something else. All you people who hit me up on social media and you don't have a picture of who you or, are. Or, and a breakdown of who you are, a description. Yeah. Give up your stuff. I don't even listen to you. I literally, you just slide past. Oh, yeah. Block and delete. Past, yeah. right. I don't know you. You ain't bold you enough. You ain't going to get my attention with right. that. Show me who you are. You hiding behind a unicorn. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Darlene, how's your book doing? It's doing great. It's doing really good. I had a really interesting very exciting moment occur on the very last day of 2015. So it's making this year that much more exciting. I got um, basically uh, Chuck D has taken it under his wings. Who is Chuck D for the youngins? Ah, public enemy. And um, also Harry Allen, uh, the assassin they used to call him. But he's a very famous, popular journalist. I fucking love author. Chuck D. Man. Yeah, so he's basically... Greatest hip-hop album yeah. ever recorded. So it takes a nation of millions. And he looked out, and he, and he sent me a really good message, and he tweeted out. So I, I retweeted what he did, what he said. So if you want to go on my Twitter and see some of his messages, it's just... Chuck D, I, them last two albums you put out, it's a shame that the world, a lot of the world, in my opinion, missed out on that. And you can learn a lot from even listening just to their yeah. music. from His yeah. last two albums mm-hmm. is knowledge, nigga. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. All of them from way back. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. So the I'm last saying. two public enemy albums, knowledge. From day one. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to tell you, that nation of millions, it takes a nation of millions well, he to hold us man. back. He did timeless, an album with this timeless. light-skinned nigga. I can't timeless. think of his name. But he was another oh, deep man. brother. Damn, I can't even think of the name, but I got it downloaded on my talking about Paris? Yeah. That motherfucker Paris was yeah. cold, too. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit. I ain't sleep on you, Chuck D. I be listening to you. Yeah. I love when you come out with shit. That's right. So a lot mm-hmm. of them. Professor Griff, a lot of them. It's a, but anyway, I really appreciated that. That was that made my that made my new year. Excellent. Yeah. And, and where can they get your book? Uh, Amazon, iBooks, uh, directly through uh, our site, which is overtheedgebooks.com. And I just I did an audio version, and they're still editing it. So for those that want to listen to it instead of Excellent. reading, that's good. And in 2016, I'm trying to start a service because there's a lot of women at the hospital delivering Here babies. Here we go. And they don't have no dad up there with the oh, babies. Rena. Oh, So I'm, I'm coming up with this rent-a-dad service where you can look respectable an in app, front of the nurses. An app, hit it. Oh. Yeah. You can rent a dude to sit up there and act like he give a fuck. He'll sit in the <laughs> hospital with you um, as long as you want. Just the more hours he sit in there, hold the more Hold your hand, calls. that's extra. Yeah, hold your hand, act like he with you, nigga. I, for oh. one, would like to purchase some stock in that company. Right. Act like he, act like like he with you, nigga. Act oh like he with God. you, nigga. That's the name of the Wow. So, What's all the baby's girls, name? We ain't decided yet. Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said the baby baggage baby check. Huh? Uh-huh. Baby think Corey is emoji. No oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, and don't forget Uber Dad. That's what they call it. Uber, Uber Dad. Dad. <laughs> Uber Dad. Pay Papa. Pay Papa. <laughs> Trade things two for things. That's bad. hilarious. These <laughs> motherfuckers are stupid. Rent a pops. <laughs> Uber baby. Uber baby. <laughs> He'll drop you off at home too. <laughs> if you want to do it with That's an SUV, terrible. that costs more. <laughs> PayPal Papa. Oh my God. That's a good one. <laughs> That's, That's that damn chat room, boy. Bastard Sit Bastard Sit That's Uber the killer right there. Uber Jenkins. Uber Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sassy Dad. <laughs> Dalla Dad, God damn it. Oh. <laughs> Y'all niggas stupid that motherfucking are. baby no name. Mm-mm. Well, thank and, you. and wait, don't forget to get uh, my copy, uh, your copy of my book, The Relationship Dismount. You can get it on my website, mm-hmm. IamZoeWilliams.com. You can also get it on iBooks or Kindle and all of that. Please continue to support. And thanks very much. Yeah. And please also download the Freeze Love app. If you've got an app, uh, there's a lot that's Mistake about to Jake. go on. <laughs> Stop. So download that app. It's called Freeze Love. Get it from Google Play or uh, the iStore. There you go. Corey it, we took that shit off sale, you motherfuckers. What? You know, I had the shit. If you buy one shirt, you get one free. Oh, we got some half, half, half off. off. Get the other oh, half off. watch out now. Back oh, really? we got, so we got, got some real business. <laughs> they got inundated. We did that other shit for half off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I appreciate y'all. Some Castaway part. kid. Okay. Don't stop. Okay. <laughs> We're done. Corey has a snack app. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> snack fool. All right, so once again, we appreciate y'all fucking with us. <laughs> this year going to be a good year for us. Yes. We're going we to yep. make some journeys. We're going to have some little puss 5150 jackets. <laughs> we're going to have on regular shit we wear, but we're going to have the jackets on under there. Like we real sports center looking niggas. Schwan, I got Darlene, no one of them niggas from sports center. What's that nigga name? The New Orleans nigga. Yeah, sports center. One of them sports center sports anchors. Center? Talking about Marcellus? He's not on Sports Center, is he? No, I ain't talking about Marcellus. I'm talking about the other nigga you know. Well, I don't know anybody else on there. What do you mean? What's I his mean, name? Playing niggas off. I Fuck swear it. to goodness, who right, is I'll it? Go I'm curious. It, I'll go with it. My bad. No, that's that other girl you was talking. I'll go about. with it. Uh-huh. No other girl, goddammit, fuck with Sports Center niggas. I, Mom, I don't. Oh my god, who are you talking about? Under no, I'm curious. The bus. You know when we was down there at the foxhole and our. What we used to do the shit was right by where they the Conga yeah, Room. Sports yeah, yeah, yeah. You said you knew the one nigga, the most the most regularest looking nigga in the world. I think his name was Neil Everett. Nope, wasn't no, me, that's man. Not him. No, but it wasn't no, me. One of them niggas. He said he's from New Orleans. <sighs> no. Everybody else know who I'm talking about. I Probably guess you so. You playing the shit off. You know you said you know that nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I never say I know somebody if I don't. Went shopping and shit. What? Nah. So you're confusing, they, the you're confusing the Marcellus because ESPN's across the street from the Congo room. I know Marcellus Wiley. Marcellus okay. Wiley, that's the homie. Uh-huh. It's the other nigga. I, don't, I, I swear to God, I don't think it was me. I think you like got you ain't never fuck with two niggas. No. In the same business. In the same business. <laughs> in the same building across the street? I don't think so. No. But anyway, that's interesting. Now you got me Dad and Dash. I'm sorry. Right. Now you got what me curious. Dad and Dash. Damn. <laughs> Zip Dad. <laughs> Michael Smith? I don't know them niggas by name. I just hear names. Ever since old boy passed, mm-hmm. I don't know none of them motherfuckers. Yeah, I don't know. Dad's in Nova. If it was true, it didn't work out. I don't know him like that. Well, fuck the nigga. I don't know the nigga Exactly. Anyway. I don't I wish I wish I did oh, know So somebody. you're conceding that... No, I'm just Somebody, saying that's interesting. If it, if if it did happen, it was I nothing that important. that one nigga who used to be on ESPN. He ain't on ESPN no more. That motherfucker stepped to me, but he was on some. He wasn't on no bullshit. Uh-oh. It's just when I used to talk about old girl with the uh, on the frog face side of the game. What the? Now who the, the girl that I like. Oh, who the one you said was beautiful? Yes. What's the name? You know, I can't think of her name. Oh the, my the, God. the bitch on a. Uh, Jamel, yeah, J- Hill. Jamel Hill. I don't pretty. dislike Jamel Hill. That's what I be wanting people to know. I don't dislike her. I feel like she's an emotional nightmare. That's why she never got that job on first date. She's that's a pretty girl, man. Just come on. Wait, wait, stop. So stop. Let me ask you this one okay, more time before we, we get go. off air. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Pull it up now. On a scale of one to ten. Yeah. Jamel yeah. Hill? Jamel Hill. What you got to ask? Cause we're gonna end this shit right I'll now. I'll give Jamel Hill. <clears throat> Your hesitation right now is already letting people know no, that's no. that R and B bullshit you're going through. <laughs> a six. I'll give her a six point five. Oh, Jamel, you heard he called 6. you a six point five or seven. Do you know what a you you said now, seven after I talked shit? You gave her a six and a half. I was gonna go seven. Six. You know what a six seven. is? You saying that she is right there on the average side of the game. One Listen, number up. she's not like this super glamorous chick, but she's a pretty girl. She's a round away girl. A so nice girl. She got girl. out the shower with no makeup on and no makeup on and asked you what you want to eat. 
you would, you would let her fix you some meat. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I bet she cooked the shit out of some grits. Uh-oh. Or some cream of wheat. Oh, she went that route. <laughs> he know. signified on you, Jamel. Yeah. He talking no, I'm home. Why she got to cook grits? <laughs> right, That's right. what I like to eat, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you don't eat no motherfucking grits. Yeah, nigga. I do. Look, there's a lot of people in there that say they would get down with Jamel, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Y'all ain't getting down with Jamel on no proud side of the game. What do you mean? Jamel Van Exel? Oh, meet me at- <laughs> stop. <laughs> you going with the meet me at Have you seen her? She's a very pretty girl, and she's smart. She went to uh, Michigan State University. I mean, some good shit there, man. That's a good person, good woman. This is some good shit. So... Okay, we'll leave it alone. Yeah, stop. Yeah. You leave, yeah, leave that woman alone. I'm not <sighs> messing with her. She's beautiful. <laughs> That's his line. That's the tagline. When some say girls are beautiful, he's signifying. Yeah. No, I'm... Hey, what? It's the way you say it kind of gets us kind of suspect. She's beautiful. She, see, it's a, but that came out better, but it's beautiful. She's like, it's almost like a, you stretched it. Somebody, Somebody said she got ugly. ass, too. Look, hey, I haven't seen that, but... She got ass? She might have cakes, too. All I'm saying is when she used to go on there with that hair not done, like she'd wake up in the morning and be like, come on, let's do this shit. Okay, let's do it this way. <laughs> let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. <laughs> Jamel or Pamela? Who's Pam? You know Pam Oliver. Pam Oliver looked like... Uh, but which one? Jamel? A, I'm a going with Jamel. professional weightlifter. <laughs> she got oh. the professional weightlifter face. I'm going with Jamel all day in America. Because you said Pam Oliver. Would you go with Jamel over Pam Oliver? Let's get you on record saying that. But why are you picking a girl <laughs> who got a rabbit teeth mouth? What? <laughs> Pam Oliver, if she was walking in the room with two glasses of wine, I'd be like, bitch, drink both of them motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to ghost your ass. I had already went in your purse while you was pouring. Oh, stop. Oh, anyway. God. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. What about Carrie Champion? She bad. I like Carrie Champion. That's different. Now, see, Carrie Champion is obviously attractive. Obviously attractive. Yeah, Carrie Champion is very beautiful. But Jamel Hill, you got to say shit. Like, she's beautiful. You don't have to say that. I'm enough. saying Cher- uh, Carrie Champion and Jamel Hill can run in the same little pack. Get the fuck out of here. So you oh said J- Jamel Hill and Carrie Champion sure. on the look side of the game? Sure. About the same? I'm saying they could be like friends running in the same pack. Fuck I try to. Here. If Jamel Hill and Carrie Champion went to a club, Jamel Hill gonna watch the purses while oh, Carrie Champion dance. Okay, on that So note. Jamel Hill is the fullback. She, she blocking. No, she got to watch the purses. She to watch the purse bitch. Y'all go ahead. I'll be here. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Oh my God, that's terrible! Oh God! Jesus Christ! I I'm bet just, you everybody in there would get at Jamel Hill. People can say that about me. Over. I don't care. That a is lot messed of girls. Up. That Come is on. messed up. Is it what Pam, about that other girl on Sports Pam Center? Oliver was an Earth the one who fire. had a makeup on and draw her eyebrows up. What's her name? I don't know. Who she be doing is. them NFL things. She really got a deep voice. I can't think of her name. She be doing the NFL Sunday shit. I don't know. They be having mm-hmm. on there. She a black girl with full lips. That's why I was shocked they booked her because they normally don't get black girls with full lips like that. Was, oh, you know who he's What are you talking about? about? I forgot her name. She look cute with makeup on. <laughs> How do you know she doesn't with uh, Somebody said Pam Oliver got, got a fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> Does she? Uh, Josina Anderson, is that her name? It's a couple of beautiful sisters. Not Sage Steele. That's Sage Steele is beautiful too. Yeah, say still, she cute. She's a cute girl. But I'm saying, like, this other girl, I think that's her name. Jocina. All these dudes in here talking about Jocina. no, talking about no to Jamel Hill. If Jamel Hill hollered at these dudes, they would be They'd all be over. hustling. All They'd the be all I over. know from the streets and be like, yeah, what's up, baby? How you doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do something with that. <laughs> Niggas be, but when they get in the motherfucker in the alleyway, they're going to be like, yo, I got that Jamel. He'll hear the frog little bitch. I got that bitch over that nigga. That bitch trying to do something with a nigga. <laughs> Is that the same nigga that was with Kobe's wife? Right. I know it's the same. No. <laughs> they got me fucking all these Hollywood hoes. <laughs> nigga, I'm so glad I moved to LA, nigga. Oh, I ain't had to pay rent since I've been to that motherfucker, nigga. 
Bitch bought me a house, goddammit. I'm laying yeah. it down right. Anyway. Pam Oliver used to look good too before out of here, nigga. something happened. God damn it, Pam Oliver looked like God damn it, uh What's the dude who used to pitch for the Mets? The black dude? She looked like Dwight, Dwight Gooden, Gooden, nigga. <laughs> damn. <laughs> I should have said. <laughs> okay, end it right there. Don't go anywhere. That lady get mad. She ready to go and shit. I bro. am. You ain't got nothing to do. What you talking about? You old not. Oh, ain't this about nothing? Tell them niggas to wait, God Ain't no more alarm clocks for you. Right, God What the hell? Put that little nigga over? out there in the car honking and shit. Wait, nigga. <laughs> she coming, nigga. No, <laughs> he... Nigga out there in a goddamn... What kind of car is that? He got a nigga in a Magnum out there. They don't even like them <laughs> <A> no more. Magnum. <laughs> he got a large Magnum. He got yeah, the coldest old, station wagon ever. Oh, 5.0. <laughs> nigga in a Magnum outside. Talking about, hey, Nick got shit to do out here. <laughs> I got to get this tune up in the morning for this motherfucker. <laughs> Come <Yeah>. on, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> oh now he's white? <laughs> God. Oh, I love it. Anyway, all right, so 5150 Show, we appreciate y'all, man. Uh, anybody we offend, I swear these are all jokes. I got love for uh, Jamel Hill, God You should. I really do. I be acting silly with it and shit, but... Sometimes would when you I, give her a hug if you saw her? Of course I would. Excellent. I'd hit her raw if she probably not oh to tell my. nobody. Oh, look at those face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I believe old boy who her co-host might try to flirt with a nigga if we get along. Oh, God. I'm going to mess with your bitch shit pushed in. Anyway, all, all right. right. <laughs> okay. D, that's the ugliest book bag I ever seen. All right. So, <laughs> it's not... <laughs> Well, it's just a, not a book bag. It's a little cr you crossover. Bought some, you bought some cologne and they gave you that bag. Didn't you? No, it's a That's crossover. Like cologne bag they give you when you buy like a cool bag. water. I don't from like Prince Scratch your belly. I don't like purses, so this Prince is just like oh. Scratch your belly. I don't need to carry a purse because I don't have a bunch of shit. Corey be calling Darlene late night. What's that with what? Smokey Robinson, Robinson in the, in the background? background. What's the smoky rap? Harassing me. Did he sing that song with uh Rick Cruising. Oh, yeah. you're talking about it. I love you. But I bet you did. No, they don't play that kind of music. I want to play my kind of music. Remember I told you the last young guy? And then he was like, okay, it's my turn now. And he I was like, oh. Well, y'all was taking turns playing songs in the car? Well, it wasn't in the car, but I was like, oh, Is that's this a not... game you played with the dude? No. Playing songs? No, 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 no. Let's what? fuck to your beat. It wasn't a game. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's kind of funny. But anyway, no. Let's I... fuck to your beat. No, I said, I, I said can I play some <laughs> of my yeah, music? And he said, sure. That old school rap and shit. No, I wanted to play, no, old school that's slow true. jams. Like, you know, very sexual uh, slow jams. old school slow jams? I mean, I can't think off the top of my Give head. Give an example of your playlist of your old school slow jams. It probably have to be don't, footsteps in the dark. Don't hurt me. What's again. footsteps in the dark? Oh, see, you don't even know <laughs> footsteps don't, in the dark. I probably know what I hear. It was was high. Of going. course. Sing it, D. No, no, Gerald Albright. Don't say bright with your breath like that. <laughs> Stop. Gerald. No. Oh, right. No, but he wanted to play, and then <laughs> I played like five songs, and he was like, "Oh, that's kind of nice." He goes, "Now, okay, can I play my, some of my music?" Because he's, you know, he asked to play some of his music. I'm fucking with you. Go ahead. Well, we were doing this where it was well, like, "Okay, let's take turns." Somebody said you play colors when you was in the that's car. That's very with funny. Kids. That's cute. That's very funny. <laughs> the high roses, road. No, but I, I didn't. I didn't just play songs <laughs> that new, new old, Jack that Hustle. far back. I played more current songs as well. You know what I'm saying? I played a little Beyonce and stuff, but to him that wasn't sexy. So then he said, "Well, now it's my time. I get a chance to play well, some of my." After seven. No, and he put on he some. He put new on muddy waters. He no, he put on like the current stuff, where it's just all the same monotonous, repetitive beat. That oh, uh, he put on the weekend. No, not even that. It was, Drop your it ass, was harder. Clap. Yes, and it was hard. And clap your like, ass, drop it on the ground. Yes, and I was like, "That's not sexy." Oh my God, bless his heart. He didn't know, and he put so that he's on. He's young, him. right? Yeah, don't yeah. date them. Do, do, do my way. <laughs> <laughs> that was a while ago. That was a. Do, 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 no, but I'm not seeing him now. But that was back then. 
<laughs> that was back what year? During the Fox O years down there? The, uh, oh, the no. no. What year? I'll tell you what songs he played. I'm trying to think. 06? No, it was Somebody currently. Somebody said Darlene played Bobby Brown. It was like two years ago. I might have. Yin Yang Twins. No, God, now that. Darlene was playing them old Dusty. You I would have loved to hear the Yin Yang Twins. Rubber band wounds <laughs> on the jam. Rubber band wounds <laughs> on the jam. Even if I did, don't hate, Tori. <laughs> Rubber band colors. How you doing? I'm a nightmare wolf psychopath stalking. That is slow enough, at least. That stuff he was playing was not that slow. I would have rather have heard that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kid I'll be, Frost. I'll be having some awful Kid thoughts. <laughs> of course you do. Monty Rosa. You can ring my bell. That's a funny one. Oh. That ain't being there playing them songs. Them little youngsters don't know. 99 loves your bellows. Uh, Why would I want to play that fast? What song? the fuck is that? No. <laughs> it's a European group. It's from Europe. Have you heard this one? They should be playing old European shit. La da di. What's the Manita Warden? The Friday Night Video song. <laughs> we got to change these microwave ovens. <laughs> Cost the kitchen <laughs> delivery. Hey, hey, hey. We got to move these. Elevator. <laughs> we got the Sweet frosty dreams call on TV. They don't even know. They don't know nothing about all that. Oh God! Every breath you take, right. <laughs> the <around>. reflex. <laughs> Wild boys. Oh. You can dance if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Dancing with myself. I'm dancing Uh-oh. with my staff. Oh, oh. <laughs> my four walls. Keep doing that. Keep doing that, Corey. Losing my past. No, let him keep Losing doing that. Losing my Give religion. <laughs> Give, him about some about some what? Give him some What? It's an old Friday night video song. No, but keep going like that. What? You're making your playlist for your little no, workout I want shit. You, I want you to keep going because you're burning up. So go ahead. Uh, <laughs> you're working out. Keep oh. moving. Sing another song. Sing another song. Sing another song. That nigga that bad. sniping. He's like, fuck you, I'm going to get shit to eat. Go ahead. She's like 12 years older than me. Ooh. Ooh, Sheila E gonna be getting that done. Hey. Bitch, y'all know what you're talking about. This pussy still beat the drum. Oh, God. <laughs> She wears a long fur coat of mm-hmm. mink, she even in the summertime. She still is, though. I like, I like her. She's nice. Ooh. He's got mm. big bucks, Uh-oh. big dreams, and a big brown Mercedes sedan. There it goes. Go, go, go. Look at him work out. Go, Corey. Burn it up. Burn them calories, Boy, boy. Big, uh, <laughs> Love <you> Bazaar. <laughs> he could not even help it. Love Bazaar. That was the name of the song. He just worked out. He we just worked la, out. La, la, la. Okay, on those notes, we got to shut it down. Cause now we got to put the EKG on Corey. Make sure he's all right. <laughs> Again. <laughs> oh, all right, guys. Good night, everybody. <laughs> put the EKG on you. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. This nigga's overexerting himself telling jokes. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, <laughs> both of y'all? Dude? On the fifty-one fifty Zo hat side of the game, we are about <laughs> this bitch. Peace, motherfucker. Oh.